views and opinions expressed on the following program are those of the hosts and guests, and not necessarily those of the staff or management of altorcradio.net. The following program may contain language of an adult nature. Listener discretion is advised. We are anonymous, and you're listening to Maxwell Silverhammer. Fuck that guy. And DJ Jerkman. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Only on STEM Radio. Damn, this shit really hurts me. Oh man, hold on, wait a minute. This is some bullshit. They're canceling the fucking show? Yeah, they're planning to drop it us after seven years. That's what bullshit? You still got people that listen and like the show. Well, guys, you had a good seven year run. What more do you want from us? You're like a goddamn Oreo cookie. It tastes like shit, but swathed in the center. Okay, goddammit. Our hands are tied, okay? Yeah, you're goddamn right, your hands are tied. Jerk and pass me the duct tape, man. Motherfucker. Hey, oh, wait a minute. What are you doing? Oh, tape, tape them together. Bitch. Yeah, motherfucker. You know what? I think I kind of like this. Yeah. Tie it a little tighter. Oh. Tighter. Oh. Tighter. Yeah. Ooh. Maxwell Silverhammer, G.J. Jerkman, Cruise Control, and G. Motors. 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 I think somebody lit a cigarette. Nope, it's the hottest radio show on the internet. So keep it locked here from 7 to 9. It's still radio fan. They ahead of their time. And now it's lesson one, man. This is lesson two. No format because they keep it fresh and new. And this is what I call a real show. They tough as hell with a hard edge like a steel tough. It campaign like a bass in. So if you're mad at them, call in. Fuck some hate mail. And if you think that the jocks sound quirky, allow me to introduce you to the shit that hurts me. You sons of dirty fucking bitches. You know, I had to do that because AK did that yesterday. She Dur- said dirty son of a bitch. She said dirty cocksucking bitches or, or something like that. It was really good. I don't, she said that? I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah, yeah. I listened to it this afternoon. It was pretty right. good. Maybe she did. Maybe so, I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. Dirty cocksucking bitches, <laughs> man. Fucking A. Well, I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. And I'm high as a kite. Are you really? No, not really. What what I'm about to. I'm going to sniff this shit right here. Oh, are you? You're not sure? Yeah, it? it's actually called um, Zen Blend, oh, and it's a it's got ingredients. It's supposed to be something to um, just to calm you down and relax you. Oh yeah. Because I don't want to be mad tonight. You don't? No, I oh. actually want to hear. Put your hand out. I'll just sniff. You want this. me to do it? Yeah. No, it, just a little bottle. Okay. You just sniff the the end. Mmm, smells like wine. See, yeah. Hold your hand out. I'm gonna sprinkle on it. <laughs> I don't know what you were gonna do. <laughs> Whip your shit. But out. it does have like a a, a relaxing uh, scent. Kinda. Doesn't really, I, you know what? It's that's what's funny. They always say a relaxing scent. Well, those things are very relative, yeah. because a relaxing scent, you know, something that might be relaxing to you may not be relaxing to me. Was it relaxing for you? Did it calm you down a little bit? Not really. It kind of remind. Well, it, it reminded me of the smell of wine, which I don't think it smells like wine at all. To me, it smells like wine. I think rose is much relaxing. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's rose like, is a good smell. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really just depends on. What reminds you... That actually has lavender in it. By the way, we got Bunny Rabbit back here. Yeah. I think. See, yeah, look at all the ingredients. It's like... Uh, <laughs> Jack-o'-lantern. Jack- jackalope. Jackalope. <laughs> we have jackalope here. Uh, okay, the jackalope is in Yeah, there. it's got uh, clay, sage... Um, well, yeah. it's, it's kind of like... Kinda like <laughs> lavender. Anything. You know, there's certain And things. it's actually got opal in it. Opal? Yeah. I don't know. It didn't really, it didn't really calm me yeah, down. Yeah, you think so, right? But no, it's got oatmeal. Yeah, it's got the color oatmeal. Wow. How do you <laughs> put relaxes you. How, put you. how do you put a color in a smell? Well, actually, opal is a um a, a gem. Oh, okay. And it's yeah, that is the color of a gem. Yeah, but they actually have the the gem in there somewhere. The, gem. the, the, the old, color little of gem. gem in it. Yeah. Ah, okay. I don't I don't know. Just certain smells, like something that might be calming to you, doesn't necessarily calm me down. You know, and whereas... The smell of farts calm you down. Oh, your own. My own, of course. Well, you know. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now other things, you know, there's certain sounds even that they say, oh, that's a calming sound. It might actually bother you, especially, you know, it depends on the association that you make with that sound or smell or, or feel or whatever. You know, there's some things that people are like, isn't that, doesn't that sound nice? And you're like, no, it fucking doesn't. <laughs> you know, it's like, um, kind of like, cl- well, let's see, like... I remember I had to do this thing when I was in 
English class, and my English right. teacher made me put on a, a Walkman with some headphones, and she had classical music playing on there. Well, you know, she's like, well, what is that? Do you feel that's calming? Why don't you write about what you feel? And I'm like, it doesn't give me a good feeling at all. It actually kind of bothers me. You know, just because it reminds me of like blue blood motherfuckers that are like <laughs> sitting around so a table. So that bothers you? Yeah, just certain. Like I said, blue bloods bother you. Yeah, those kind of people bother me. They're like, oh yes, uh huh. I'm so much we better to... than you. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> you know what? You should ru- jackalope. You should rub your head on the kitty mic. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I, I can't keep all these names straight. This is kitty cat. Uh, yeah. What kind of kitty cat was she again? Uh, it's a, she's a calico, I guess. Calico cat. There we go. Yeah. Calico. Why don't you just, calico kitty cat's back. Why don't you just rub your head on the mic because you're shaking hands with all the other animals and objects that might be listening? <laughs> oh, you gotta actually rub your head on the mic. Why? That's okay, just weird. I'm, I'm so doing it right now. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll rub, I'll rub my head on the mic. Yeah, of course you would. <laughs> everybody. You know, that's my way of shaking heads with everybody who's listening from the Zoo all right. Okay. Well, there's one way just to think strange. about it. <laughs> just strange. So, anyway, I'm in a good mood tonight, man. I don't know, <laughs> you know, maybe because it's a new month. The last two months have been kind of butt fuck. If you notice, I mean, they've, I feel ya. they've been okay, yeah. but I felt the butt fuck. There's been a lot of. <laughs> there's just been a lot of butt fuckery this last couple months. There has been. It's just I, like, it, damn. I don't know. I think it's that time of year where everybody just likes to fuck everybody over. Think, yeah. think about this during <laughs> during the um, uh, summer holidays. What do people do? They Pull say fuck their job. Yeah, they butt fuck people. <laughs> it's their fucking favorite thing to do. Go around like, butt fucking like everybody. Uh, it's like butt you know fuck what? season. Butt fuck season. It, it is butt <laughs> fuck season. <laughs> Prepare your guns. It's butt <laughs> fuck season. Well, you know, <laughs> comes it, around every year. Yeah. It kind of seems like that because it seems like every summer, you know, there's always motherfuckers like doing shit to well, you. Well, it is. And it, because I think they think they're free and it's like, oh, this is my vacation time or this is my that and I can go do whatever I want and fuck whatever you're doing. Uh, yeah, that's true. Because it's all about stepping on people. Because I just noticed yeah. lately, man, people have been fucked up. There's two types of people in the world. Those who butt fuck and those who, who get, get butt fucked. fucked. Yeah, that's right. It's a, j- <laughs> it's a jail situation. You gotta fuck or be fucked. But, <laughs> by the way, speaking of fucking, well, or just people trying to get in your business and shit, you know, mm-hmm. I'm thinking, the more I think about this shit, the thing at the pool the other night, you know, about that I, the lady taking the Polaroids the, of you or whatever? Pictures, I yeah. think she was taking pictures of your dick. I no, You know what? I think it was racially motivated. Because of the Mexicans? Yeah. Explain. Because I never, I don't think she took any pictures of me. Even so she didn't like the fact that the Mexicans were in there with her kids. Nope. She was like, that's what it was. He was, you don't know the story. He was at his pool the other night and he was swimming and it was like after 10 because he got off of work here. Uh-huh. Got off show. Was a, it was a Sunday. I was, I just, you know. Oh, that's right. Sunday. Okay. But he went down later yep. and he was down swimming and there was a family down there with a couple kids and they were Mex- Mexican. And this lady come down and was bitching at him, telling they couldn't be there swimming. And they're like, oh, bullshit. Kind of like, you know, we're just doing her thing. And then mm-hmm. she broke out a Polaroid camera or a, a 35 millimeter. Tried to millimeter. document it. Yeah, yeah, taking pictures of them. Saying that she works with the Homeowners Association and she was going to ha- submit the pictures and we're all going to get Did she say fine. anything to you? Well, I was the one talking. I actually piped up. And I was like, you know what? You think you're more important than you really are. I was like, Go f-, you know. <laughs> Ooh, and and I want to tell her to fuck off, but... She was like, well, I'm working with the Homeowners Association. Come to the meeting tomorrow at 3.30. And I was like, I can't. I work. And she's like, well, you need to be there. I got a real job. Yeah, exactly. I don't have time to be yeah, taking Polaroids. I don't Polaroids go around with and Polaroids at people at night. <laughs> <laughs> so then she's, you know, she goes, well, you're going to get fined. And I was like, well, you go right ahead. You do what you got to do. Be a good little slave or something. Yeah. So apparently I saw. Unbelievable fine I saw, for swimming in your own yeah, fucking complex. For going swimming. That you, know, you, pay, you, pay, you, you own the fucking yeah. you know, bullshit. Fucking authority trip. Exactly. Exactly well, what it well, is. Well, even funnier jerkman i'm now starting to think maybe she's not even a, a you know an owner right, herself just talking shit maybe she's a, re- a a renter just like this guy you know what i'm saying just talking big shit and just doesn't like the fact that blacks and mexicans swim in the pool mm-hmm. I, and so well you know the color does rub off and it makes the water like yeah, brown. Yeah, yeah. you know their skin color and their yeah. fucking chemicals <laughs> in their skin yeah well then see then i saw the guy the next night i think i told you this and he told me she came back after I left. So the fact that she was there again. So they they were still swimming. It was it the same night. Yep. So they night. were still swimming, and she came back and threatened some more. Yep. And that's what, what he, a hoochie ho. That's what he got in her right. face, and he tried to take her camera. Ah. <laughs> and I was like, Well, I don't blame him. You well, know, I know. Leave your fucking. It, it's, it's his fucking family. Leave Brittany well, alone. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, she could. <laughs> well, that was his, that was his thing though, because he's like, you know, you're taking pictures of my kids. What the fuck are you gonna yeah. do with those pictures? And so she was like, you know, I, I guess, yeah, he got up and he actually tried to take her camera. He said, 
Got so all protective daddy on her. Pretty much, you know. Which hey, I give him props for doing. But I told him I was like, dude, you're just gonna get yourself in more trouble doing <laughs> that shit. So and anyway, a ruckus. I went down there. <laughs> let's see, was it was it last night? Yeah, I think it was last night. I was Swimming? Doing, yeah, it was either last night or Wednesday night. Okay. And no, it was last night because that's right. I did the show on Skype, and then I was like, I'm going to the pool, <laughs> and I was down there by myself, and nobody said anything. <laughs> so that kind of leads me uh, to believe racially motivated yeah was it around the same time period yep it was about well a little earlier maybe about nine thirty or something maybe she was mad because the kids were running in front of her and from where she sat at her house she couldn't see in your tight little speedos yeah. oh so yeah. she wanted the kids out of there so she could get a good <laughs> view of you maybe she would just wanted to come in and just suck my dick and the fact that there was people there you know it was She's bothering like her. having like a david spade moment in tommy boy where he's watching the chick <laughs> through the window <laughs> Except it's the Are opposite. You watching Spanktrovision? She's she's watching outside. She's watching me in the pool, watching the man in the pool. Yeah. You know. Oh, like, take it off! You've had a hard day. Shit, <laughs> you know what? That might fuck. That could be get the case that, too. Get those feet wet. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Don't say that to him, Jesus. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Look, rub your uh, rub your thighs. There you go. <laughs> Why do you do that? I don't know. Why do you rub your thighs? I, it's just it's me. You know, feeling good. It's like you know, kind of like when you're in bed, you put your face in the pillow. Like, oh, that feels good. You know, my you grandma, rub your face in a pillow too. Yeah, my grandma called it. I'm like, sure you like do. Like yeah. face yeah. down. Uh -huh. Toddlers are yeah, fascinated right, by all the different like. <laughs> like, like feels <laughs> like they got like yeah, feel the right. blanket on their face and jerkman rubs his face <laughs> in this uh whatever this stuff is on this glass you know table when good try Jeremy's i nailed you first and you can't handle it yeah whatever <laughs> <laughs> so i was actually told that that and don't take this personal uh -huh. <laughs> but, <laughs> but um uh that there are people out there that listen uh -huh. and they like it better when me and you are on together Oh, yeah? As opposed yeah, to who? Yeah, you yeah. guys make magic together. That's what I was told, that me and you are just like, they, uh, we were called the dynamic duo. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no Basically. shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That, that, that when you rant, it's, it's okay, and if I'm on, it's okay. You can't deny it. You yeah. guys have a... A chemistry. But when we're both on, it's yeah. dope. Right. When we're both together, they said the show is we can we talk about the most stupidest fucked up shit. And I was told I was told by one person specifically that they said that the reason they listen to the show is because we take them out of their normal everyday bullshit. Ah, well, that's what the sh that's what it's bring them into to your do. guys. Yeah, our bullshit. Bullshit. as I said, you guys are more fucked up than I am. <laughs> well, but it, you know it is therapy. Mm -hmm. And it's good that somebody enjoys it that way because that's yeah. kind of what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to, you know, kind of make you forget for a while or it reflect. Maybe. Yeah, and that's what they said. They the said they, yeah, go ahead. Point of the program. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it does work. And and they did say that, um, okay, I'll be honest. They huh? said that they don't really care for Cruz at all. Really? Because, yeah, they said that for some reason he does Too much of the same shit? I don't know. It, no, because this isn't even the person that told said that before. This is somebody totally different. They said uh -huh. with, when Cruz comes on <laughs> that they um that they get kind of a depressed feeling for some reason. Maybe uh -huh. they pick up on him or something. I don't know. Maybe they're yeah, maybe it's a vibe vibes. from him. Huh. And they said that, um, that G Motors is okay, <laughs> but G Motors is kind of just like... <laughs> uh, would that they call him like a... Like a dumb stick or something. A dumb stick? Yeah, like Damn. like he just kind of sits there and he doesn't contribute much. And then all of a sudden, once in a great while, he will. But most of the time, they just can't understand him. Huh. <laughs> I would disagree. Yeah. I, yeah. That part. I would say Cruz has more interesting, you know, comments and things rather than... Yeah. Well, I, I think they both they, got something to offer. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't well, let him yeah. on the show if I didn't no, think they did. No, yeah. and, no. But I'm just telling you what was told to me. Oh, I know. And yeah. I'm like, I said, so... And I guess the reason they like us together is because that we just kind of like nab each other constantly, <laughs> <laughs> well, and then go on to some fucked up yeah, shit so and like nab those, each other. Those two again. gay uncles that just always talk shit to each yeah. other. <laughs> <laughs> we're like we're like grumpy old men. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Those two, the two old men from the Muppets. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the Waldorf? ones in the balcony. Yeah. Waldorf and uh, Statler. Yeah. 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 yeah, you think you're funny, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They just heckle. Oh That's God. what they do. They sit up. That was funny when I was a kid. <laughs> 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 yeah, this kind of because you could see us like sitting up in a balcony, oh, just yeah. shit talking everything. <laughs> That's what you guys remind well, me of. No, I've I've been told that too that we do have a great <laughs> chemistry, and uh, you know people it's have even undeniable. People mm -hmm. have made the the Red Lobster jokes, you know, even on right. Facebook. <laughs> you know, a few people have said, "Oh yeah, I was going to say you took a Red Lobster." <laughs> <laughs> or something. So nobody's you know, hit me with a Jeremy one yet, but I'm sure that's coming. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Just because. Sure to be here sooner or later. Did this person have any opinion on Bunny Rabbit? No, they said they like what we do. They like when when you come in. They like when when we bring the people in and we're talking and we just like kind of go off each other. 
Uh, but but as as the team being, they like it to be me and him and yeah. bringing the people in more that's than they true. did other people. Right. Oh, no, yeah. no, I mean, no, I mean, like bringing everybody else in. They they like that part of it, but they but for it being the ones that are kind of like the glue, there's, there's no the gluing it. You yeah. Too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's us two that they that they enjoy that we yeah. bring in and razz everybody. Well, that's yeah. us though. We're kind of front men, you know what I'm saying? Which yeah. is so weird because remember all those years ago, I had really nothing. Once in a great while, you guys say, "Oh, the owner of all talks here," and I pop in and say, <laughs> "Hi." No, nah, but you you did have we'd let you on a few times. And yeah, it was a couple times, and, and it was actually cruise control the one time that said that he wanted me to be a steady on there. Yeah, that was on New Year's. New Year's a Eve, years yeah, a couple yeah. years back because I used to go in and out, and I wasn't constantly always on. Yeah, well, I I mean I think it's great, and a lot of people have given me some. Well, you remember when uh, Shell left? And you I get, remember you when got, Shell left. Yes, <laughs> I marked it down. I threw a fucking uh, party. I was gonna say, did you have a bottle of champagne left uh, over from that? I, every time that comes <laughs> around time, <laughs> no, I have a silent party. That time when you let when uh, Shell left, and then mm-hmm. you were you joined me on the air one night or something. And remember, Renacy called in. and It was like, man, is, is this Shell's replacement? Man, it, yeah. it's pretty fucking good, man. You used to have her on the show. Oh, Shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she was a she was one of the main characters. Yeah, yeah. she was Miracle Moore. Miracle Moore. <laughs> it was a miracle that nobody choked her to fucking death yet. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> well, you know, it, it was what it was. The, but uh, you think she still listens to your show? I'm sure at some point. <laughs> you know, which uh, I, I kind of wish she would just kind of go away and enjoy her <laughs> life. You know, just do it. Do she still ever try to talk to you? No, no, no. She hasn't. She tried once a couple years ago. She tried to because basically she sabotaged the website that we had that we made, uh-huh. and she was basically like, "Oh, if I can't have it, you can't either." Unless you, put, she tried to extort money out of me to. to oh my and I, I was remember like, that. Yeah, remember she that? did. And I was like, "I said I'm not paying you." So then she would rig up the website and make it just so my passwords didn't work, oh and my call up the company and take just the, the credit usual card. Just sabotage. Yeah, bullshit. And so finally, I just vengeful sabotage. That's what I was like. You know what? Fuck you. Have the website. You know. Mm-hmm. And then, like about a year later, I get an email from her and she's like hey look i'm, I'm not mad at you anymore i'm doing some soul searching my husband told me that i should just give you the website so if you want to we'll oh, have to set goodness. up a time that we can get the, and that's when i just wrote her back and said you know what fuck you <laughs> i don't need the website you know yeah. you can fuck off after she pulled all of her bullshit <laughs> well yeah i'm so relieved to know you aren't mad at me anymore yeah, yeah. Like, thank you like she's I give leaving you off the hook <laughs> yeah she even said that she was like i don't hate you anymore i'm thinking you don't have a reason to hate <laughs> right? me i didn't do anything to you you fucking uh. cunt rag so you know but uh yeah, that's that's the last transmission I got. You know, other people, other friends of mine have seen her, you know, around, <laughs> but you know, that that's you know, just mm-hmm. how it is. But uh no, it's you know, and that's the other thing. You guys think it's okay occasionally to just close the chapter on something? You oh, know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Like I do. Ju- it, well, like what? What are you talking about? Well, any, it, people? You know, yeah, people, on certain people, certain people, you know, like if if it's, you know, you just don't see that the friendship or relationship or the any ship yeah, because otherwise, you. you know, you're just going to be freaking wasting your time and energy on someone who doesn't appreciate it. Yeah. Well, or, or even when you could be spending it on, you know, people that are that care about you. Yeah, it, right? exactly. I, I don't know. It's funny you asked that because last night, um, you know, my ex. Oh, that's Sylvania, where I'm going. Yeah. And, and some of the shit that went up and down with that, you know, or that fucking guy gets on and accuses me of all kinds of <laughs> shit. Are you going to die soon? Yeah. Ask yeah. me if I'm going <laughs> to die soon. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck's it to you, ass munch? Right, right. But, um. Uh, yeah, she actually came on and she sent me this text message and I, I messaged her back. At least I thought I did and it didn't go out or whatever. And so then later on last night, I get another one like, you know what? You can go fuck yourself, asshole. Just you have a good goddamn to me, life. You just said so. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, I've been through fucking up and down bullshit with you for ever since that time I had to stroke. Cause that's when I started talking to her again. Oh, no wonder. Huh. And, um, you know, how many times she take me off her fucking friends list, put me back on her friends list, <laughs> yeah. you know, and then tell me, oh, um, we're talking fine. Then all of a sudden she's like, I don't think we should talk anymore. This isn't going to work. I'm like, what's not going to work? We're not fucking seeing each other or something here. Yeah. And um, <laughs> something dramatic. All yeah. All of a sudden. And I, mean, and I get these fucking huge, like book fucking text messages from her yeah. after that when it's, you know, you haven't been in her lives for so long and blah, blah, blah. Well, I lived <sighs> 3000 fucking miles away. What the hell am I supposed to do? Drama queen. Well, yeah. yeah, that's what it was. And. So last night she did that. You know what? Stay away from those. <laughs> so that's what I figured. Yeah. <laughs> so, so did you respond at all when you got that the nasty response? What I did or? was I called her up at her house. And she just sent it to me. I thought, fuck this. So I called her up at her house. I said, look, you know what? I said, that's fine. I said, you're right. I will have a good life. What's remained yeah. of it with it? I will have and have a good life yourself. And that's it. 
Nice. And that's so, where you so like. So there are times that I guess, yeah, you got to just kind of say, you know what, mm-hmm. enough's a fucking enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, just certain people, it's just you close the chapter. I mean, it's nothing, even certain, well, like we were saying, like with the whole koala thing, you know, I, you know, after a while, even that gets old. It's like, come on, man, that's old garbage. Just mm-hmm. let it go. Let it, you know, enjoy the time you had with the person and yeah. mm-hmm. move on. You know what I'm saying? And not that I'm even mad or bitter or anything, but it's like, yeah, you know, yeah, that's just that's, after a while. Yeah, man. same way I feel too. Like. It's not that I'm holding something against them or right. like, it's yeah, just like you I don't, don't even, wish them I, don't, bad luck. I don't think about them. Right. Exactly. You don't <laughs> wish them bad luck. You don't want to see anything bad happen like to them. That Fountainhead quote, like, uh, I don't remember what it is, but the Rourke or whatever, dude. And he's like asking the other guy, like, oh, what's your opinion about me? What do you think about this? And he's like, I don't think of you. Oh, OK. I know what you're talking <laughs> about now. Yeah. That's funny because I was thinking this guy's so worried about what he's thinking yeah. and all this stuff. He's like. Sorry, but I've never even thought about you. <laughs> right. So, yeah. you know, you've been worried for nothing. Yeah. That's like, uh, what's her name's, uh, you know, do, where do we stand? And she's just like, huh? <laughs> you know, like, Who okay. Who are you again? <laughs> you may, and that's yeah. funny, too, because. The bold dick guy. Somebody might think about you a whole lot, or you may think about somebody, but the other person could give a <laughs> fuck if you fell off the earth or not, you know? Well, uh-huh. And I mean, there are times when, you know, and it usually ends up being that the person you're thinking about doesn't give two shits about that's you. That's what I'm Doesn't saying. really even think about you at all. Right. And, you know, with that being said, that's kind of a sad thing at times because. Yeah, because you want them to like you. Right. You, you would want, you, you, because you're putting a lot of effort into right. them noticing you it's or a lot talking of to you. wasted energy. Yeah. 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 And then to find out that they don't even think about you at all. You kind of, <laughs> I mean, you want to fucking feel small quick. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Well, that's why I said, you know, with those kind that's of people. That's probably why people get so vengeful. Well, yeah. A lot of people turn psycho off that kind of shit. It can yeah. be. Me, I'm just like, okay, don't think about me then. I I'll mean, move <laughs> on. I'll do what I'm doing anyhow. I mean, it can make you psycho, but if you have any kind of kill switch, you know, you'd well, be like, uh, okay. That's more than likely why we got that letter from Gary. You haven't yeah. talked to him in quite <laughs> a while. Oh, 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 bitch ass. We'll be right back, fuckers. <laughs> What up, though? It's the undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Eyes, and you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that. And guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do. So don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted traffic, like you already know. Get him, Jay! Answer me this. When did happen a lot of YouTube hits and hella MySpace friends begin to determine whether a rapper has good music or not? Let's be serious. You wouldn't trust half of these people to wash your car or your dog. But you gonna let these people determine what music you listen to? That's crazy. You gotta be a leader, man. Not a follower. Not a follower. And check out that classic album by your leader, Boy Black Eyes. 5.0 Reasons, 10th Anniversary, 1998 to 2008. It's that classic Bay Area G-Funk and mob music. Sample the entire album at CDBaby.com, Rhapsody.com, Napster, and iTunes. Or just Google your boy Black Ice. That's Y-A-B-O-Y Black Ice. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Maxwell Silverhammer of the award-winning Shit That Irks Me. Now, usually I'm joking and having fun and laughing, but in this case, I'm here to talk about something very serious. There's a phenomenon that's going on all over this country. It's called dimpling or dimple caking. That's right. There are lonely ass, poor, sorry sons of fucking bitches that have no friends, no life, and nothing really going on for themselves. So they need people to talk to. So what they'll do is they'll call your phone. And usually what you'll do, being the heartless son of a bitch that you are, you'll just let the phone ring and roll it into your voicemail. And then you sit there and you contemplate. Oh no, I have to call this person back. I have to call this person back. Knowing that there's quite the chore that's in front of you. What do you do? If you're the heartless son of a bitch that never calls them back, you need to stop now. You need to call that person back. 
and do your dimple duty. That's right, it is your dimple duty to make sure that this person is happy and content and feels worth. That's right, this person needs to feel like they have some worth. So, do your dimple duty today. Thank you. I am Maxwell Silverhammer with a public service announcement. Do you hate women that you can't fuck? Have you tried to rub your dick on some woman's foot and she turned you down? What the fuck are you doing? Uh, well, if so, you need Game for the Mentally Lame. That's right. If you're a mental retard and women are trying to kill you with their Google Cheesy Leasy, then this is the book for you. That's right. Learn brand new pickup lines. Hey, baby, you see my face? Wanna kill it? No, I don't want to sit on your face, but I'd like to split your fucking lip. Or you can also learn brand new ways of being smooth and romantic with the come ons. Hey, how about we go have some hookie and then after that we can go to the rum runner. Great, just what I've always wanted my own drunken alcoholic retard. No thanks. So see, the proof is in the tard. So get Game for the Mentally Lame for only $19.99 if you call now. Order Game for the Mentally Lame for all tards and those who can't quite get it. If you're a fan of hip-hop and R&B, join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. Uh, back-to-back -back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B soul. R&B soul. Bangers life, hip hop bangers life. 25 sitting on 25 mil, huh? I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. Rest in peace, Mac Dre. I'ma do it for the bay, okay? Getting paid, we'll holler whenever that stops. My team good, we don't really need a mascot. Classic throwbacks life. Well, I'm peeping and I'm creeping and I'm creeping. But I damn near got caught, cause my beeper kept beeping. Now it's time for me to make my impression felt. So sit back, relax, and strap on your seat. Yo, you've never been on a ride like this before. Every Friday night at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And Saturday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Only on the Tough Love Show on JJ.fm. He was a young white kid from the suburbs who had it all. Yo, Pops, when you gonna paint my motherfucking Bentley and shit? Sorry, son, I'll get to it. It's just been very hectic down at the office. But he wanted something more. Yo, I wish I could be a G, dog. He wanted to come from those mean streets and be a G like his compadres that he looked up to. Yo, man, if only I could have a gack, dude. I'd bust the most caps out of any G. Then he met Jay Fucker on MySpace, where he learned to rock up that crack coke Came with the dopest of OGs from the street. Yo, we gonna hit the track right now. And we gonna slang these hover rocks to these motherfucking fiends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. Can I roll with you, dog? Can I roll in your 6'4"? It's a tale of urban struggle. Yo, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive out in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. I can dig it. I can dig it. It was a tale of romance. Hey, dog. You mind if we sleep in the same bed? Gerald Jismbag and Harold Hardcock give it two thumbs up. It's Black Cock Down. At last, the wait's finally over. Be Sick returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. Be Sick's No Punches Pulled approach on the mic gives listeners what they want, as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass. With such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance, you fix at your butt. My touch will bust in the gut. My toleration is nuts. Fuck a buster and I'm bitch. I'm or the laid-back, fun-filled street I'm anthem entitled right. Change of Pace, featuring Ghost. This is something to bust. As a gift to the haters, so turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you'll be getting a ticket. And if you're straight to the guts, bar, blind to the facts. Blind to the facts, set your mind to the trap. Blind to the facts, that with time we adapt. Blind to the facts of what you don't understand. Blind to the facts by the media scans. Blind to the facts of what you read in the book. Blind to the facts by the media scans. Download your copy today of Mr. Zero Tolerance from www.cdbaby.com or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b62. Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. We are anonymous and you're listening to Maxwell Silverhammer. Fuck that guy. And DJ Jerkman. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Only on STEM Radio. This shit really hurts me. Oh, 
Yes, bitches. Oh, what did you do? Fade me in there again? Yeah. You know, AK does that. Yeah, I know. Uh, where she'll fade me in kind of like... Well, see, it's because these are actually spinners. They're not slides with a mute, so it's... You can't just pop me in. No, you know? it actually, we have to turn the volume up. So mm. if you were talking while we're doing that, it's going to bring you in. Right, so I have to wait. You have to start doing it a few seconds prior to that yeah, and, part. Yeah, and until I get another board here, I'm going to have to tell people to... Not More talk. Like a wrist twisting motion. Yeah. Like yes. You know, like you do at night with your dick. <laughs> Hell yeah. Damn right. <laughs> but see, it's not really you that does it, though. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Is it? Is it? Gary. Uh, yeah, it's Gary. Imaginary <laughs> Gary. <laughs> <laughs> you stay at home yeah. and like, imagine it's Gary janking you. Well, see, that's the thing, though. Chuck see, you, you have Jeremy, <laughs> you know, who comes and does really? what he needs to do for you. You know, the, the funny thing is, is you, you can... Homerone Capone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. She threw me in that one, yeah. too. I was going to nail you with it. Homerone Capone. I love it. <laughs> People are using my terminology. But, like, I almost want to just go be a lesbian now just so that you can call me that. <laughs> really? <laughs> She wants to go be a lesbian right now. So you want to be a home alone Capone? She'll call you up on the phone. I'm getting my pussy eaten right now. Am I a home alone Capone? <laughs> a home alone or whatever. Home alone Capone. Well, that comes from homeronian. Yeah. Is the word I used to say all the time. <laughs> and from there, it's morphed. You know what I'm saying? So that's where I came from. Home alone Capone. So I love anyway. It. Fuck, man. Speaking of home alone's and bullshit. Well, this is just home alone. It's annoying. Fucking. He threw me in there. I can't believe it. <laughs> But you know, God. before you start that one, I'm going to let you know that no matter what you say, it doesn't matter. I have never been out on a date with a man for food or anything. <laughs> so you yeah. can throw the Jeremy shit as much as you like at me. But you because guys, I do a show with him just like I do one with you. Yeah, but you guys but argue. I do not, it doesn't matter. You guys argue I can argue all I want. I don't. I didn't go out on a date with him and have him buy me lunch and you know have to fight him off later not to suck his dick. Have you ever had a threesome with a man? two guys and a girl? Guy? No. No, I've never yeah, I've done that. Yeah, I've never had any yeah. threesomes. I've done that. So I would yeah. pretty much say that kind of equals itself out. I've what? Had... Wait a minute. So <laughs> that makes me gay because oh! I had a threesome. Not gay, but saying a little home. I'm open minded, maybe a little bi curious, maybe. No, I didn't touch him. I mean, it's like I was down there going, trying "Hey, honey, you done with that dick? I want it." Saying <laughs> that you've never gone on a date with a man. Yeah, but then you've been in bed with uh, a man, right? Let me think about that one. Two, you How two niggas in a bed you, with you a chick. You basically skipped the date and you went straight, yeah, went straight to, to the bed. Thank you oh, for helping me out <laughs> on this. <laughs> Damn, bunny rabbit. I'm just I might want to kiss. I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you. You can't keep giving him shit just for going to get food. I'm freaking yep. believable. Exactly. Exactly. The guy went to get food. I feel for him. Yeah, exactly. I would have done the same thing. Yep. Unbelievable. I didn't suck his dick. I didn't fuck him in the ass. Nothing like that. But then I've also had threesomes with two girls, so. Okay. But so it's like, you know what? I don't think I would ever have a threesome if a man out. cancels itself out. There you go. So I'm back to square one. <laughs> right? Gay guy. <laughs> Actually, you know what? If a man, well, I can't. You know what? And that's bullshit. Yeah, really? You can't say that. Right. Because yeah. Well, it wasn't, oh, the guy oh, wasn't what, active. What was that? Yeah. Was that? Well, yeah. <laughs> back at the old place. place. Me and Maxwell. Should, should we tell tag us? Tag teamed a girl. Yeah, we did. Ah! <laughs> Actually, it wasn't just me, you, and Maxwell. You it guys had the ultimate bonding experience. Well, no, it, we wasn't another, rubbing dicks together. No, no <laughs> it was. We were taking turns on somebody. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we I'm talking about. That. Yeah, we yeah. did do that. <laughs> we did. Okay, we did. That. Actually, it was us and another guy. <laughs> no, 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 don't say it like that. <laughs> that makes us sound gay. <laughs> it was us and a girl. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah, and the guy was there too. There was another yeah. dude. Yep. Yeah. But there was three guys <laughs> with a girl. <laughs> right. Three but, guys. Uh, but you said it was <laughs> us and a guy. But it wasn't that bad. <laughs> right. But there was another dude there. Yeah, yeah, but you said it was us and a guy. You forgot you left the fucking chick out. <laughs> oh, well, it's implied. <laughs> it's implied that the chick was No, there. there was no implied. It sounded like we had a fucking guy between us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sure did, but, you know. Uh, Damn. Although he went first. <laughs> and yeah. left her pussy all stinky. <laughs> oh my god! And then after that, I was next, and then I got to play in the in his. But nut. remember, I was like, you were I, last. Was getting, I was getting ready, and we kind of, and then the fucking show showed up, and I was like, God yep. damn it, I had to go. <laughs> yep, always yep. happens to me. Do you at least practice safe sex? Yeah, oh, we always practice safe sex. Why do you say it? yeah like that? What? How I said it? <laughs> no, him. Oh. Me? Like yeah, like. She well, made us. <laughs> well, it, it's kind of like because I'm, I, I, uh, I'm not yeah. a condom not a, fan. I really don't like thing. condoms much, but no, no, no. I, for me, I'm. Um, that's why I have to more or less be in a relationship. Condoms just don't work for me that well. Yeah. It's not that I don't use them if I'm just getting in with somebody. I don't. But care condoms for them. are not something that works for me. Yeah, they, they just. 
Um, yeah. Don't worry, baby. I'll pull out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> actually, That's yeah. why I got child support all everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I can uh, calculate uh, this. <laughs> actually, with oh, some shit. <laughs> some I got about three. Po- oh, whoops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, I've, I've been very, knock on glass, I've been very lucky because there have been a few chicks that I've raw dicked. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you are very lucky because a couple of them I looked at and thought, wow, is he going to get something from that? I don't know how the. Oh, God. <laughs> a couple well, of those I looked at, I was like, ooh. Well, not, well, I didn't raw dick all the ones you saw. Well, I know that, but I know some of the ones you did. Uh-huh. And I was like, wow. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That was scary. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I did uh, that. That's right. I hit that ass. That's all you got to know. Show. I give him the raw. <laughs> give him that raw. Give him the raw carrot. Down and dirty. Well. So, yes, we have. But then, tell. wait a minute. Have you had a threesome with two guys? Oh, that's a good question. No, no, two guys. Oh, no? Top two, two girls? Chicks? Yeah. And a guy? Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. So you've you've been okay. In, okay. Well, eh. well, you know what? Is wait a minute. <laughs> but wait a minute. In our and in, in, the, in the threesome that we did, there was no bed. We involved. didn't touch each other. Yeah, there was no bed. So in the threesome it. you did, was, was there, there girl girl guy play? Well, duh. Huh? <laughs> so you did do a See, little bed. Girls, but when you t- when girls can do shit. When well, a girl you does you that, you already know that I've dated girls. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah but I know when a girl does that, everybody's like, oh. That's cool. When a guy does, you fucking queer. Yeah. <laughs> well, but what, what Put guy? A bag. I, but, but yeah. It, yeah. Pull that thing out of your ass. <laughs> but it just. It's, <laughs> <laughs> but it just sounds gross, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, dude. Uh, me and my. I mean, unless both together. of the guys are, you know, into it, or right. you know, both open or whatever, then it wouldn't be that weird. But if at least if at least one of them, you know, is <clears throat> yeah, if you like not down. Right. Yeah, yeah, you like that stuff. Man automatically changes. but no for, for us it was just kind of a train thing where you know <laughs> they went he went high five bro <laughs> yeah. like, are you hitting you gonna fuck you next? hit that i hit that <laughs> yeah one of those kind of things like oh damn it was kind of strange too it wasn't like uh we were <laughs> i just fucking it shows to do of those, like bro college bonding moments yeah, that's what we had that's what it was <laughs> yeah like reliving the glory days pretty much <laughs> okay okay let's get this out with Uh-oh. and and now we've got to tell her who it was so All this right. way, she doesn't think it was, it was my ex-wife. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yep. Actually, there was another situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where. Oh, really? Well, <laughs> she's like, let's Man, you guys way. are fucking freaks. <laughs> this, this, this might, this might, well, this could lead. <laughs> <laughs> Spit me got, it out. Jerk, my nut shot Jerkman on the back. <laughs> and I didn't know it. Physical contact. <laughs> yeah. The fucking well, what it was was is he was fucking her. I was fucking her, and and he was jacking off and squirted on my back, and I didn't know it. I was using her feet. I, I cause rubbing she on her, her foot. foot. Yeah, she put her feet ricocheted off her foot onto my back. I didn't know it. I went home. I'm took my shirt off. Like, what the fuck is that? Like one of those. There's something about Mary moments. Yeah. <laughs> Peels the shirt off. It's like. <laughs> what the fuck's on this shirt? What's in your hair? Hair gel. <laughs> well, in this case, he couldn't so. blame it on anything. <laughs> what? It's a detergent. It's my lotion. Oh wow! It's all out in the open now, isn't it? Yeah, we just put it out there. Oh well, you started well, it, not me. I didn't things start. Things happen. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, you work in radio so long. I've seen, I've seen weirder things in radio. Trust me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But it's such been, as. <laughs> really? And now she now she's curious. Wow. What's the weirdest thing that you've ever seen in radio? Hmm. The weirdest thing. The weirdest. Like it's about to get weird. Um <laughs> there was a time when um uh the boss that I had actually had his daughter and his daughter I was walking into the back room area. How old was such daughter? Oh, don't tell me he was banging his daughter. How old no. was such daughter? Uh, she was about just turned eighteen, I think. Okay, so at least she. Right. But I was in my twenties. Yeah, she was. She was a legal age. Okay. And maybe nineteen, but she was built like you would not fucking believe. And <laughs> I was always like, "Wow, she's hot." Everybody's like, "Ooh, she's hot." But it was weird because you would go in certain parts of the station and you would hear these like noises and stuff. <laughs> You'd be like, "What hmm. the fuck goes on in this place?" <laughs> and the one time like- I had. Yeah, just weird <laughs> shit, you know. And you're going, oh, sounds like someone oh. tapping on a wall, or sounds you and you're like be walking hearing. by, going, you're going, oh. yeah, no, never heard that. That was the <laughs> fucked up part. Just oh, squishing until, sound. because you didn't hear any O's. No, no O's. Well, I'll ex- one time, yes, and I'll explain <laughs> when. Uh-huh. Because what happened was, as she would go in and she would fuck everybody in different places. Oh, my God. oh all you guys from the staff? All the staff. Oh, I didn't yeah. do it with her the because slut. yeah, she was going around <laughs> fucking everybody. 
and her, and her nut bucket. Her dad, dad was nut bucket. yeah, her, <laughs> but her dad was a big mob guy. Oh, I mean, he was in with the shit, and she'd hit on me a couple times, and I was like, <laughs> you know, I was fucking still young, and I didn't want to fucking end up dead. Right. So and then watch the dad come up to you like. So, so what are you doing with my daughter? What's wrong with my daughter? Well, yeah, here not comes good enough for here, you? here comes the weird <laughs> twisty part to this one, because what happened was, is there was a back storage area the one day, and I had to go back to get something. I forget what it was, mm -hmm. uh, something mic or cords or something. Like the premise for a porn video. It almost was, because <laughs> I got into the back area and I heard this. I thought, what the fuck is going? Uh -oh. There was a pack. A uh, big thing of boxes and stuff like that, and right behind it, there was a guy drilling the fucking shit out of her, ah! and her head <laughs> was bouncing off this thing. Ah! It was going, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh wow, he's piping her. <laughs> yeah, he was. Ah! Piping. <laughs> and as I'm walking out, she was behind us. Her dad <gasps> comes walking in the room. Oh, he goes, shit. "Hey, did you see my daughter?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm like, "Ooh, my!" So what I'm walking out of this room, and I'm thinking. He me thought I just fucked her too. What did you do? And I was like, I don't know where she is. And I bolted I down the nothing. Yeah, and I bolted down the thing and all of a sudden all I heard was, You fucking asshole and this guy comes running out of the fucking thing, almost slams Naked? into the Yeah. Almost slams <laughs> off of the fucking wall trying to get out there with his clothes in his hand. It was beautiful. Yeah, and he goes running down the hall, and I see him fucking chase him, going the opposite direction, right? Oh, hell no. Now, get this shit. I'm standing there like, oh, fuck, this guy's going to die. She comes out, and she looks at me, she goes, do you want to have some fun? Uh, fuck you! Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she was going to try to fuck me then while he's chasing the other guy. Oh, hell no. I swear to God. Well, then why doesn't he check her and be like, look. Well, because that's his like little angel. has a problem. Yeah, she's yeah, fucking she everybody. Like problem. Uh, she, it's obviously consensual. He wasn't raping her. No, but yeah. it was like he, you know, he chased this guy, and she comes out and wonder why I want to have fun. I'm like, look at her. Are you fucking serious? You nuts? <laughs> Damn. Wow. I can't believe after <laughs> all that like, happened. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Zip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just like right here in the like, hall. Is that what she thought bow, was going to happen? Nah, yeah, baby. <laughs> right here in the hallway. Come on, fuck Let's it. Let's play cowboys in the Take Indians. Take a knee. And if yeah. your old daddy wants to join in, he can. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I just like a whole fuck. <sighs> Notice that's that that's crazy. the first thing I came up it with. It was insane. You mean he was fucking his daughter? <laughs> you know, yeah. that that shows you where my mind goes right away. <laughs> to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you went right to the fucking... <laughs> like, oh, uh, you mean the guy was... Automatically. But it was so funny because she kept doing it afterwards. Oh, I mean, it was just... You would see her... Uh, so she was a whore. Got, yeah, she was fucking everybody. Basically, she was a whore. Yeah, she was oh, fucking she was. everyone. I mean, you know, that's what she She didn't does. care. It wasn't like... Whore. Yeah, she had no... There was... You know what, though? Okay, if she enjoys it, fine. But, hey, a label's a label. You know, you're a whore, right? Well, like a guy I mean, come on. The guy just fucking was doing her. He got caught, and she's, you want to finish me off? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's, I mean, well, not, even a, not even a break in between. Like, hey, crazy. Pablo, <laughs> don't let him kill you. Keep running or nothing. Well, you know what? And, and, and <laughs> hey, it, just because we give you a label mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? If we call a woman a whore, that's like calling a guy a player. You know, yeah. it's just it's what it is. <laughs> exactly, so it's, it is what it is. It's not a it's not a negative connotation. It's just what it is. It's the terminology. It's like, oh, yeah, she's a whore. You know, it doesn't make her a bad person. It's just she yeah. likes to fuck niggas. You know, as Some opposed people to people are redheads. Some people, <laughs> right, right, yeah, like, like you know, there's some men that are fucking players. You know, it's what they do, man. Yeah, like you. Know? you. I'm not a player. You're a player, man. Am I a player, dog? You're a player, shitsy shit. Shits I'm, a, I'm the player who hasn't been laid in, <laughs> what, how many months now? I beat you. Bro, diggity. Yeah, yeah, I know you beat me. Let's I see. beat you. But nobody's beating cruise control. No. No one. Cruise is going on, what, <laughs> fucking 17, 18 years? Yep. Whoa. Ooh, that damn. Long, yeah. It's like monk status. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, the thing is, he, he can walk in and they just, come in, son. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. He's just, he's so numb to it i guess or what right i don't know i mean i give him credit mm -hmm. but at the same time i i'm thinking there's got to be come on dude you mean you in, know in you don't get any years has it been what 18 years Eight, 17 17 years yep. you mean in 17 years he hasn't been attracted to any fucking girl and even if okay even if he's like okay i want him to be super fucking intelligent i want to be doing blah, blah, blah. you mean that whole time he didn't see one hot chick and go you know what mm, it's not gonna hurt <laughs> Well, How do you know and that's the thing for him. And he's just saying that he. Well, that's has. what Jerkman said that originally. I said that I said, before, no, but he's that. saying he stands by his word. You so really yeah, think? I've I've never, and I'm like his best friend, so he would tell me if he if he banged, but he kind of busts my balls for for having casual sex with chicks. You know, he's he like, has like a secret shame girlfriend that he just doesn't tell anyone about. Wow, mm -hmm. do you think that? Remember, because we came across that one time. Remember, he went out. And we think oh, he went well, out on that date, date that yeah, older right. lady. Yep, that's right. There was a date. So there is that possibility that that could have happened. I mean, yeah, and that I think he just doesn't just, talk about. I think he, I think for him, it's a persona. And if he if he goes ahead and uh, 
I think he probably got drunk one night and did something, or maybe. Mm-hmm. Could have been. And he doesn't want to admit it because he's got to keep up that face with you. Because, oh, really? I've never fuck a dumb bitch. Yeah. She has to have I mean, the IQ of... It just of, baffles my mind that in this day and age, someone can literally go, you know, freaking... People are shocked that I've gone two years and three months almost now. Almost 20 years. Like, that's just... Yeah, I'm not going almost, 20 fucking years. Almost mind-blowing. Oh. Yeah, well, that's, that's what we're saying. saying. That's like, like can, wow. Sooner or later, I will look for a nut bucket at that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, he There's can, no way I would go to... Like, during those 20 years, like, you're telling me not once did his... Did, get did he hard? Oh, I'm did sure. he accidentally? You know? I'm sure. Yeah. He, I'm sure I he tripped and fell in her. I'm sure he jacks <laughs> off. Lift in. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure. I know he jacks off. Well, who he, doesn't? You know, but uh, I don't think. I don't actually. You don't. Well, I hope not. Well, I hope you don't. If <laughs> if, if you do, then there's a problem. Then you got to take oh, back shit. that kiss. Then I got. Oh. Oh. <laughs> then uh, okay, I'm gay. <laughs> no, no, we knew that. I'm See, kidding. He, he said it. he would like me no matter oh. what. <laughs> yeah. You still gonna toss my? He salad? said he would like me until my penis I mean, got larger than his. I mean, he said he would like me no matter what. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> did, did I tell you that happened to a friend of mine? He brought a chick. What he thought yeah, was. Yeah, you a told chick. me about that. Oh one. my god, that's some <laughs> fucked up shit, man. But uh, how? I mean, and I, I can understand there are some women that I've seen that are men and I didn't realize it. I mean, not that I, I mean yeah. like in a magazine or something like that. And you're like, holy shit, that's a fucking chick yeah. or a guy. Yeah. But for the most part, he, she's yeah, you can kind of well, tell if you, I think if you're with them, there should be something depending on how long you're with them should be a giveaway. I, unless I it's a was, rush in. I thought I was pretty good at that though. You know, I always thought, Oh shit. I know I, I would never oh, would you, happen to you. And there was, well, I never got with someone sexually like that, but we were at, um, this oh, here it comes. Was I was at Red Lobster. <laughs> oh, actually, I was at a, it was an LVB and M event. Uh-huh. And, uh, it was, we were at Fridays. I was with my, my assistant now. And so we had, we had dinner before the, the thing and whatever. And the person who I thought it was a woman who seated us. And then when we were leaving, they said goodbye too. And we're walking out and, and, uh, my assistant goes, uh, yeah, that, that guy was pretty nice or something like that. And I was like. Uh, what guy? That was a man, and he was like, "Yeah, it was a." Did a, that person kind of turn you on a little, maybe? Well, the voice, yeah, I was like, "Damn, she sounds hot." I kind of ah, dig her voice. That's so funny. But mm-hmm. but uh, was it Red Lobster? I'm asking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure was. No, it was Fridays, man. Fridays. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you just changed your name to protect the innocent. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Switch it up a no, little bit. Certain, yeah. I, I don't know. There, but they have yeah, there, <laughs> there are some yeah. chicks. There are some what I you think are men. I mean, think are chicks uh, that are actually men. Yeah. But I'm saying there are some. Uh, uh, if you have vision, usually there's some kind oh. of clue. I don't know. There's this person I went to school with, and they were the, it, you know it was a guy that I went to school with. Right. And then after high school, they ended up getting a complete sex change, and like now you look well, at this person, and there's nothing about them that you would ever think even was, guess. Yeah. Like okay, but I, I guess okay maybe that with a sex change. Like, so it worked. Yeah. But it completely worked. But they are they're now they're taking these pills that actually make them grow breasts. So you it's yeah. not like. Well, you can see they have implants, so you not go. Not just the pill. I mean, she actually, yeah, she got the. Yeah, implant. got the snip off, but they had she had implants. Oh yeah. Because I know they're taking these pills now that actually make the men grow breasts, so they look natural. It's not like you know they're gonna bounce and jiggle or whatever they're gonna do. Right. So it's not now like this person looks just like one of those you know fake plastic Barbie doll types. Okay. So there's an ugly look about. So there's it still yet. hope they're for you yet for a date, Max. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, we'll get you a little bar. Hey, wait a minute. Who's the guy who hasn't been laid in two and a half? You know, fucking. Year? You know that doesn't bother me. I mean, it's not like a big thing to me but right it's well, it's it's one of those things that um you know i no matter how desperate i would get if it would ever come to that i'm not going to red lobster <laughs> <laughs> that's right you just pound jeremy i don't need to uh, you know no. you guys have pound mm. <laughs> wow <laughs> don't you guys bitch about each other like couples oh jeremy wants to do this and jeremy wants to do that <laughs> and he bitches about me and yeah of course he bitches about you guys like you guys are like a couple i'm telling you well we bitch yeah, well we pop- bitch back and forth. <laughs> we bitch about each other. We bitch too. Well, to other people? <laughs> well, no. You know what I mean. We go, huh? <laughs> to other people? No. What I'm saying, like we're doing now. <laughs> yeah. We go at each other. People say we sound like a married couple. Oh, well, yeah. At least we do it to each other's face, you know. Well, I do it to your face, and you take it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I do it to your face, too. You know, too just late. Like, no, I too late. I got that one. Yeah, okay. You did get that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was going to actually interrupt. There was something earlier, but I wanted to hear the story, so I didn't want to, you know. Oh, for Yeah, okay. It was something when you were telling that story about the guy's daughter and all that type of shit like that. Oh, yeah. So I, I had a joke, but I was like, nah, I want to hear the story. So you actually stopped? I stopped myself. Just to let, that, to let me tell that story. Yes, I did. 
You are a man amongst wow. men. So Aren't I? It. Aren't You're I? always a man amongst men. Yeah, yeah, I know I am. Goddamn straight. Because <laughs> I don't fuck men. We'll be right back, bitches. <laughs> What up, though? It's the Undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Eyes, and you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that, and guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do, so don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted traffic like you already know. Get him, Jay! Answer me this. When did happen a lot of YouTube hits and hella MySpace friends begin to determine whether a rapper has good music or not? Let's be serious. You wouldn't trust half of these people to wash your car or your dog. But you gonna let these people determine what music you listen to? That's crazy. You gotta be a leader, man. Not a follower. Not a follower. And check out that classic album by your leader, boy Black Eyes. 5.0 Reasons, 10th Anniversary, 1998 to 2008. It's that classic Bay Area G-Funk and my music. Sample the entire album at CDBaby.com, Rhapsody.com, Napster, and iTunes. Or just Google your boy Black Ice. That's Y-A-B-O-Y Black Ice. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Maxwell Silverhammer of the award-winning Shit That Irks Me. Now, usually... I'm joking and having fun and laughing, but in this case, I'm here to talk about something very serious. There's a phenomenon that's going on all over this country. It's called dimpling or dimple caking. That's right. There are lonely ass, poor, sorry sons of fucking bitches that have no friends, no life, and nothing really going on for themselves. So they need people to talk to. So what they'll do is they'll call your phone. And usually what you'll do, being the heartless son of a bitch that you are, you'll just let the phone ring and roll it into your voicemail. And then you sit there and you contemplate, oh no, I have to call this person back. I have to call this person back. Knowing that there's quite the chore that's in front of you, what do you do? If you're the heartless son of a bitch that never calls them back, you need to stop now. You need to call that person back and do your dimple duty. That's right, it is your dimple duty to make sure that this person is happy and content and feels worth. That's right, this person needs to feel like they have some worth. So, do your dimple duty today. Thank you, I am Maxwell Silverhammer with a public service announcement. Do you hate women that you can't fuck? Have you tried to rub your dick on some woman's foot and she turned you down? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Well, if so, you need Game for the Mentally Lame. That's right. If you're a mental retard and women are trying to kill you with their Google Cheesy Leasy, then this is the book for you. That's right. Learn brand new pickup lines. Hey, baby. You hear my face? Wanna hear on it? No, I don't want to sit on your face, but I'd like to split your fucking lip. Or you can also learn brand new ways of being smooth and romantic with the come-ons. Hey, how about we go have some hooky? And then after that, we can go to the rum runner. Great, just what I've always wanted, my own drunken alcoholic retard. No thanks. So see, the proof is in the tard. So get Game for the Mentally Lame for only $19.99 if you call now. Order Game for the Mentally Lame for all tards and those who can't quite get it. If you're a fan of hip-hop and R&B, join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. Uh, back-to-back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B, soul. R&B, soul. Hip-hop bangers like 
25 bangers, like 25 sitting on 25 mil, huh? I'm in the building and I'm feeling myself. Rest in peace, Mac Dre. I'ma do it for the bay, okay? Getting paid, we'll holler whenever that stop. My team good, we don't really need a mascot. The classic throwback, life. Well, I'm peeping and I'm creeping and I'm creeping. But I damn they got count, cause my beeper kept beeping. Now it's time for me to make my impression felt. So sit back, relax, and strap on your seat. Yo, you've never been on a ride like this before. Every, every, every Friday night at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And Saturday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Only on the Tough Love Show on J and J. FM. He was a young white kid from the suburbs who had it all. Yo, Pops, when you gonna paint my motherfucking Bentley and shit? Sorry, son, I'll get to it. It's just been very hectic down at the office. But he wanted something more. Yo, I wish I could be a G, dog. He wanted to come from those mean streets and be a G like his compadres that he looked up to. Yo, man, if only I could have a gack, dude. I'd bust the most caps out of any G. Then he met Jay Fucka on MySpace, where he learned to rock up that crack coke Came with the dopest of OGs from the street. Yo, we gonna hit the track right now. We gotta slang these hover rocks, these motherfucking fiends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, can I roll with you, dog? Can I roll in your 6'4? It's a tale of urban struggle. Yo, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive out in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, I can dig it, I can dig it. It was a tale of romance. Hey, dog, you mind if we sleep in the same bed? Gerald Jismbag and Harold Hardcock give it two thumbs up. It's Black Cock Down. At last, the wait's finally over. B6 returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. B6 no punches pulled approach on the mic, gives listeners what they want, as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass. With such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance, you fake that you're fun. My touch from bursting the gun, my toleration is nuts. Fucking bust your head, I bitch, I'm Or the laid-back, punch-filled street I'm anthem entitled Change of Pace, featuring ghosts. This is something to bust. As a gift to the haters, so turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you be getting a ticket. And if you straight to the guts, bar, blind to the facts. Blind to the facts that your mind's in a trap. Blind to the facts that with time we adapt. Blind to the facts of what you don't understand. Blind to the facts by the media scan. Blind to the facts of what you read in a book. Blind to the facts. If you Download see your this copy book. today of Mr. Zero blind Tolerance to from www. Com, or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b sick 2 Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. We are anonymous, and you're listening to Maxwell Silverhammer. Fuck that guy. And DJ Jerkman. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Only on STEM Radio. Damn, this shit really hurts me. Bitches. Wait a minute. She said something that I could not hear. Uh, I didn't her hear that say it. What did you say? <laughs> say it again. She, she did it. They all want a piece of you. They want that ass. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's probably Jeremy. You're right. <laughs> and you had to go there with that one. Aha. Uh -huh, yes. So there you Unbelievable. go. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah. I'm just wondering who's on top in that one relationship. <laughs> you know? The same one that's in ours. Me. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> really now? <laughs> you know I wouldn't take it any ass. You're any ass. Oh, if, yeah? we, if we ever have to become gay, like <laughs> the so, world, <laughs> we so, have to become. The last two men death? on earth, and yeah. one so, of us will reproduce. Yes. Well, how about this? You already got the fucking bun in the oven, so you're gonna get another one. <laughs> so, so you're gonna stuff one in my ass, huh? You know, if worse came to worse, <laughs> turkey. And, yeah, I don't know, and, and, man. And the world was destroyed, and it was just me and you left, and and it's like. I think I'll just become a. I would do something like neuter Adam myself. Adam Steve. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't tell me you, because after even even five years of sitting next to me, hey man, uh, can you just <laughs> lick, can you just lick this? <laughs> I, you know what though? I don't can know, we man. I don't, yeah, yeah. Can I spoon you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just I couldn't. I mean, okay, obviously. Nothing sexual. I just want to feel your touch. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think that the body starts to long? Because that's what yeah, that's, that's what I heard. Happens, that's what I heard happens in jail and prison and shit. <laughs> well, of course. But those guys actually they long for some kind of connection, so not they start gay, just fucking feel other feel niggas. Yeah. Arms around me. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm not man. gay, you, I, but you got a cute butt. <laughs> you know, I don't know if I could. I would have to. I would do more jacking but, off. I think. I but just, you know something? Okay, you can. But keep in mind what you said when we were talking the other night about eating people. 
you know, you, you don't know what people. you're going to do so after you're the situation. That you're in that situation. That's true. And you know, okay, look at it this way. You know everybody else in the world is dead. There's no more judgment anymore <laughs> for anybody. So take that out of so the equation. It doesn't mean I'm going to take a dick in the ass. <laughs> hey, you know what? No one's here to see this. You know what? All right, jerkman, here we go. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> and at the same time, I don't know if I could fuck it's someone in the shot. ass either. <laughs> like, I, I oh, yeah, here we go. We just take, you know. Well, like, no one would know about it. Yeah, so. yeah it's, it's all right. I'm like, <laughs> like, hey, Max, well, I can make it look like a glazed donut. It's all right. <laughs> Who's here to see? I won't Come tell on, no anyone, one's I tell, promise. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell my family. Oh, well, they're dead. Okay. I guess you can fuck well, me in, in the case. ass. Well, you know, <laughs> and the, you know, the worst part about it, okay, me and you would be in this spot, right? Uh-huh. And it would happen. We would be just wandering this one area for like years. <laughs> and then realize that a truck pulled up and it was only that block that got blown up. <laughs> yeah, and everybody else would be here. <laughs> and he'd be like, hey, man, the world's still going no, on. Oh, the, shit, we did gay stuff. And then you find uh, out you're in one of those domes like the Truman yeah, Show. Yeah, people are watching oh, us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, you guys were, damn, that was a cool little gay porno. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, man, we got gay for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> damn, they actually pounded each other. And then the video would go up and people would be, it would be viral. That's when we'd start getting viral. <laughs> After we fuck each other in the ass, then we get viral. Prior to that, nobody gives a and shit about our show. And then go back and find this dim show. Like, oh, yeah, no, watch this all like the a time. Cult, a cult show. Yeah. yeah, right. That would make us big is if Gain, we do like, some gay following. shit. Yeah, well, I'm not doing this just to make us big. Uh, I'm not either, so <laughs> that's fine. But, yeah, can you imagine, the, like, all the other shit we do, we've had crazy interesting guests on. Oh, man, this will get us a lot of YouTube hits. Oh, yeah. No. But we pound each other in the ass? <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, man. <laughs> Same way the celebrities work. They don't get famous till that porn tape, tape yeah. Until they suck a dick or take it in the ass, right? Until their That's porn right. tapes yeah, accidentally with stolen. Black guy. Yeah. <laughs> Kardashian and all. <laughs> wow. Damn. Well, you know, to switch gears, I've got an SMJ. <laughs> yeah, he wants to switch oh, yeah. gears. All Let's right. do that. You need your SMJ fix, don't Hell you? Hell yeah. All right. Here we Bring go. It. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her Gotta save that blind man. Gotta, gotta save, save him from danger. danger. Gotta, gotta save that blind man. man. Gotta, gotta save, save him from strangers. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got two SMJs. <laughs> One was actually done <laughs> by my assistant. <gasps> Whoa. Yeah. Well, you know, it's kind of funny. With people even that are, if they're very enlightened sightings, right. they still have their moments <laughs> where they might SMJ right. you. Up. So yeah. what about me? Um, you've been pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't, I can't think of anything, you know, where you've ever slipped up. No, you've been pretty good. I, you know, I'm sure there'll be a, a moment or a point. You know, where you might be like, you know, something may happen or whatever. Slips it in real quick. Yeah, it just kind of slips <laughs> she it and pulls said, it out. He says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to I'll shove it up my ass. <laughs> but, but no, uh, so anyway, we're, we're, uh, we had a bunch of stuff because we had a speaking event. And then I had to stop over at Services for the Blind to pick up this box you see sitting next to me here. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, um, they can't. Okay, here, wait a minute. They can. They can. Watch. Oh, you got to move the camera? Oh, there oh there's the box. I forget guys. that we can do this once in a while. It's kind of yeah. like, you know. So, anyway, we had to go pick up this box, uh, and there's a bunch of, like, you know, assistive devices, you know, uh, for, for cooking and shit in there. I was going to say, what kind of yeah, that's assistive why I, devices? That's why I clarified it. So, anyway, um, we, we picked that up, and then we figured we'd stop at Del Taco, and we, we're going to get it to go and just bring it back to the office. So, we had a lot of shit we're carrying, okay. and finally, he came up with the idea. He said, you know what? Let's put our food in the box if you don't mind your stuff smelling like Del Taco. I'm like, okay, that works. And I in said, the box over here. Yeah, this box here. Okay. And then I said, I'll carry the drinks. And he was like, oh, okay, that works. So I start carrying the drinks, and we're, we're getting towards the stairs. And he goes, all right, we get up the stairs because we're, we're coming in through the – oh, shit. <laughs> See, now <laughs> – You're afraid to say it, aren't we're you? We're coming in through the back entrance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, do you think I was going to... He's in the yeah. back door? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah see, I, figured, I didn't. She did. <laughs> I figure we preempt that motherfucker. So anyway, we, uh, we're we you know getting ready to come up the stairs, and, and you have to use a key if you're coming in the back entrance. And so he goes, tell you what, man, um, I'll hold the drinks while you open the door. And I was like, dude, I can <laughs> hold the drinks while I'm opening the door. And he goes, you sure? And I'm like, of course I can. And I said, are you SMJing me? And he goes, no. I don't think that's an SMJ. Well, but then he, real quick, he was like, no, 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 man. I'm not an well, SMJ. Well, because I really don't think that's an SMJ. I mean, sighted people do that all the time. They'll be yeah, like, hey, you want no, me to hold the drinks for you or hold something so you don't drop but, it? But nobody questions them. That's the that's the difference. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that. pretty sure. Exactly. Like, <laughs> are you sure, man? I, I can yeah. hold it. Like, he was almost insistent he'd yeah. take the drinks. 
So finally we get up there. I said, I know what's best. I said, watch <laughs> this. So I pulled out the key and I, you know, unlocked the door and everything. <laughs> Then I got Look it open. What I can do. And then, well, you know what? <laughs> That's it. I felt you, you could kind of feel that vibe of, oh, guess he can do, do it. it. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Yep. I wow. Told I am amazed. <laughs> I, I, you know what? And I've actually, I felt that one time with my friend Tim when he was uh, getting ready to move, and he actually wanted G Motors to help him, and I came along and I was like, here, dude, I'll help you guys out. So then we start moving some shit, and then I, you could tell he was just like. Oh, fuck. He can actually do this <laughs> shit. And he actually did say to me after we were done, wow, you did pretty good, man. <laughs> you know? So. You did pretty good. That's what Tim did. But no, my assistant. Tim, your friend. Yeah, you know the one you met. The one that says I'm Thanks 60 for fucking years old. Me, you he fuck. never said that, did he? I don't know. He never yeah, said that. that's was, exactly was that what it was. No, that was Bill who said you sound like you're 60. Sound like I'm 60. Yeah. So, if, okay. If you didn't know me and I was talking on the phone to you, do I do I sound like I'm 60 years old? I would say you're 50 something. I would say you have an ageless, perfect radio voice. Oh wow! I love her. <laughs> ageless, perfect radio. <laughs> See, fuck you. Shit. How does he <laughs> even talk like? Yeah, he sounds like a 50 year old man. It's perfect. I got the perfect radio voice. So fuck you. <laughs> oh, anyway. So yeah, it was just funny because I could feel the vibe of oh wow, he could actually do that, you know. So that was one Thanks thing. Thanks for underestimating me. Yeah, yeah appreciate well, it. Although, you know, when I, I mentioned it to me at the same time. When I <laughs> called him on it, then he was like, no, I'm not SMJ right. you, man. You know, so right away, <laughs> you kind of tell he was like. Ugh. Well, maybe he just didn't want to be thrown in that category. Well, maybe it was like one of those things because he knows how you talk about it all the time. So well, I he, know. So maybe it really wasn't but I an guess, SMJ, but when you put it out that way, he kind of like, oh, shit. The point is, you know, sometimes people. G Motors SMJs sometimes. You know, he doesn't G Motors SMJs quite a bit. He, do, he doesn't <laughs> do it. He doesn't, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah. he doesn't do it to be malicious. He just does it. He just doesn't think just, when he says stuff. Well, and a lot of people don't. <laughs> like that's an excuse. Yeah. Well, a lot oh, of, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> well, a lot of people don't. Fault, he was just not thinking. Yeah. But that's it. <laughs> when people well, they're not just G Motors, but a lot of people when they SMJ I just think they just don't think. It's just something. I think some people get nervous around you, too, like G Motors does. G Motors gets nervous trying not to SMJ you, <laughs> and, and he SMJs SMJ. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. And that does happen. And mm -hmm. that happens with other people. Well, I guess this is what my assistant was doing today because he saw me with the drinks and figured, oh, shit. If you but that is a normal thing. I've done that before when someone's went up to a door. They could see perfectly fine. I'd be like, hey, you want me to hold the drinks? Or I would yeah. say, here, hold but, these. But the, the difference How is. How many drinks did you have? Two. And were they bottles? No. They, they were, were, they were cups. Regular. Yeah, like uh, well, see, So you cups. would think, because sometimes when you're opening a door, you may squeeze accidentally, squish yeah, it, and drop it. So right. I don't think Three that was hands. an SMJ. Well, no, but then. then but, I, but when he said that, I, <laughs> I know what you're trying to get at here. When they question you, but, but even after you tell them I'm fine, you see what I'm saying? They're well, that's the because, SMJ that's because, I mean, I've had people say that, and I've even said, you sure you're all right? Because I don't want to be the one, like, after they fuck up, go, hey, man, I'm just going to offer to fucking hold the goddamn drinks. Well, that's when I do, I do that shit. And I reassure it, like, okay, you're sure, right? And I'm like, yep, okay, dumbass, go and ahead and try. you got to also consider, the person probably has the competence to be like, you know, if I do need help, I'll get yes. yeah, I'll right. it Thank you. you, Bunny Rabbit, that's the whole, that's the whole point of this well, shit. Well, I mean, you do. I wouldn't do anything that I thought was out of my limitations. But see, you don't understand something here. I mean, you're you're a smart guy, but you look stupid. <laughs> I, I'm sure I do. Oh, wow. <laughs> so maybe. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? It, and that that may be the case. I don't know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. But uh, you know, <laughs> obviously, I'm not stupid. So what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. That was I like that one. You like that one? Yeah. Well, I like this it. guy's gotten to know his personality. Yeah, yeah. I know my limitations. <laughs> You know, the other, the, the second They're SMJ, which by the way, I'm sure I'm going to be coming, I'll have SMJs tomorrow because I'm going to Dr. John's and I'm sure his wife, oh, his wife will be there. Yeah. You know, you know what she does now? Puts she a tells, napkin on you? She tells everybody I have 10 girlfriends. Because that was because of my nephew. I know. And that's what pisses me off. It's like. Because we all used to go there and my nephew was with my sister when she used to go there. And my he nephew is, he's, okay. you've met my he's nephew. He's a little mentally yeah. challenged. Yeah, yeah, he's mentally challenged. He's got the mind of a four-year-old. Yeah. So, <laughs> so does as his uncle, seen, but anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> so what happened? Hey, that was for the stupid one, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I still like that one, even. But um, <laughs> so uh, you too. So his um, I mean, yeah, his my his wife picked up on saying to James all the time that oh you got because James was like oh you yeah, got girlfriends I drive cars boom 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 yeah. you know so now because he's disabled. 
Max as, now is at the same level as him. As, yeah. So every time he comes in, he's but, saying he's got ten girlfriends because my nephew said he so had. They a, just loop those, and two, she tells, those two together. She'll yeah. tell, together. Yeah. The problem is she'll tell other patients this shit and actually talk I, like he's an idiot standing right there. Aww. Yeah. Well, and and yeah, exactly. Do it right. You know, me. little Maxie here's got three girlfriends, don't you? Oh, like oh, little she, ladies that go up and pinch your cheeks. Yeah, yeah. shit Aww. like that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and, God, and I love you. I actually, yeah, yeah. Well, somebody said that to me. Remember? Oh, that you do remember that one. That's <laughs> right. A very good memory there, bunny. <laughs> so, uh, uh, jackalope or whatever. Jackalope, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah kitty cat, kitty that's cat, right. Whatever the <laughs> fuck you were. <laughs> so, anyway, um, where was I going with that whole thing? I have no idea. <laughs> Ten girlfriends. Oh, but she actually she told a woman this shit. Well, a female patient. Not that I was going to get with her necessarily. Well, that chance was just completely yeah. out of the water. Well, oh, yeah. That's out what I water. told her. Because I told her, I was like, well. Thanks a lot. Either out of thinking you're a male whore, or just pure pity. You wasn't getting it then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I oh. said. Like after she walks away, be like, but they're not serious girlfriend. Yeah, you that, know. That's what. I, I, she probably when you walk away, she's probably like, it's just casual. I just say that. It makes some hell. You know, he's a little yeah. slow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's yeah. funny because doc. I made Doctor John laugh because I was like, oh, she goes, oh yeah, I told you you have ten girlfriends. I was like, oh thanks a lot. You just blew my chance. She was like, <laughs> what are you talking about? I was like. Yeah, what if she, she's single? And she's like, oh, she is single. I was like, yeah, thanks. You just ruined it for well, me. But wait a minute. Who sounds like the slow one out of the two of you? <laughs> she does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and even my mom's like, she doesn't play with a full deck. Uh, well, she used to always call me Bruce when I went in. Bruce? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't she, remind me at all of a Bruce. Who the fuck? Yeah, do I? I, I don't, Where does I'm not Bruce a, come from? That's Bruce. why. Because. She, Dr. John did a show with us at the time. I would go in there all the time and he'd be like, hey, George, you know, we're doing to do this. We're going to and go do some stuff. And it's not like he, he didn't say my name a hundred times. And, and then when I go in and she see me, she go, how you doing today, Bruce? Is she like, like Asian or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you picked up on that? She's, <laughs> a, she's a fob, man, fresh off the boat. You know? and, and I'd be like, um, my name's not Bruce, it's George. And then even Dr. John come out the one time and goes, why do you keep calling him Bruce? It's not Bruce. <laughs> Oh, he's aware of it, man. It's just one of those things. Like it's his wife. What can he do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let your friends no, fuck her. The other, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the remedy for you. Uh, so no, the other SMJ I had though is actually a sort of a theory that I have. Right. When people tell me that they admire me and think I'm amazing and I all that you. shit, you are amazing. Yeah. Well, you know what I think. What? I wonder if there's a part in their mind that wonders if I'm faking. And that's why they tell me they admire me because they're thinking like, oh, we've already figured out you're faking. Yeah, have you really? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we well, know you're faking. I think that's why people tell me that though. They think I'm faking. That's why they say they. You don't wear admi- sunglasses. You do not have a dog. You are a faker, fucker. Yeah. Well, you know what? And that's probably why they say they admire me. I admire you so much because there's probably something in the back of their mind going, yeah. He just wants us to tell him that. Or we is admire this? Him. This you just don't want to accept the fact that, you know, you are pretty. You know, like maybe it's true. Well, but I mean, when people maybe say you they are admire you, some people. I mean, uh, well, uh, maybe got, so. Yeah, she is maybe right. Maybe you just don't want to admit it. So she you're is like, right. oh, they're probably just not meaning it. You you but have I to take a little true. bit of because um, AK said the same thing. AK sat here and said, you know, we won't get into why she said it, <laughs> oh, really? but um, she said that you set the standard a little bit higher. Oh, I know why she said it. Yeah. Okay. For, for other people that she does not. And well, she said she that a, she's yeah. only ever known to blind people. And that was us. Yeah. And I you know. were the first. And the second person. The yes. second person. Okay. I know who that is. Uh-huh. <laughs> so she, we were talking about, I think it was last yesterday or the day before. Mm-hmm. And she had said that. And I'm like, yeah, you can kind of see a major contrast there. Yeah, well, which is good, though, that at least she can see the contrast. There's a lot of sighted people that can But that's the thing, though. I mean, so, you know, you're going to get it both ways. Maybe the fact but that they're telling you, <laughs> like they're you, telling you this in the first Fuck place her. maybe means that they do see that. That's why they're telling you this. They see really? that because he can't. Yeah, well, I guess. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I guess that's... Um, <laughs> But AK never tells me things you, like I admire you and you're such an inspiration to me. You know, she Four never minutes. comes with that shit. One more for you. <laughs> oh, yeah? One more ding? She said, do you see what I'm saying? Oh, I, <laughs> see? Uh, you know what? I'm so, I don't even think about those things. Yeah. You see? You guys you guys have to, like, when it comes we to blind jokes. We have to clue you in on jokes. Get, you have to say, hey, see to get it? See, like, see. And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. One time when I texted you something and I was like, all right, golden. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know and what the fuck like, you meant uh, by that. I'm like, what do you mean, golden? Oh, shit. Golden who? <laughs> <laughs> golden shower? 
<laughs> yeah, that's where your mind goes right away. Yeah. Like, Golden shower like, on my mommy? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Oh, wait a minute. He got uncomfortable with that one. What? I did not. When I said golden shower on your mommy, you well, got uncomfortable kind of. What's up with that? I could see it. I don't know. <laughs> why, well, why would you say golden I don't shower on my mommy? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, though. Oh, I touched a hot spot with you. I can sense it. Well, it was like what? I mean, as far as <laughs> <laughs> golden shower on my mommy. random. <laughs> that was random. Yeah, but it, it, I think that's where your thing comes for the older women. You got some kind of mommy thing happening. You got some mommy issues. Look at that. <laughs> look, he does. He has. Look at that. He's smirking. Smile. <laughs> yeah. The minute we said that, we, well, I know. You know, in role plays. One more time, I, I like, mommy. I like playing those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. And you know, a lot of the porno stories I read are, are mother and son sexual fucking. You know, matter of fact, I was reading one last night Ew. online. That was Jack. Ew. So, so see. You got a mom Brody. issue. You got a mommy issue. <laughs> yes, look, there it is again. <laughs> I have a mommy issue. <laughs> yeah. oh. So I think, uh, huh, huh. Oh, did you oh, did you go oh. in like the closet a lot when your when your mom's clothing? Did you and walk in on mom taking a shower one time. Um, and run into no. her feet. No, I never did that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't want to talk about my mom's feet. <laughs> Look at that. Look at like, I don't need to hear that shit. It's kind of funny because he was really getting into his own head for a second until he heard that. Yeah, then I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Oh, no, okay. I'm in too deep. I'm too right. deep. That's no. We don't need to go there now. Surface, surface. <laughs> <laughs> Even I'll fucking cut that one off. I'm like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll go anywhere, but you, no, no, you went there. Nah, That's funny. So you can read other people's mommy stories. <laughs> oh, I love those. I like those. Own. I like those stories. Those are good. <laughs> wow. Uh. But uh, anyway, so yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, when people have to voice the fact that I'm an inspiration, it's kind of like inspiring to what? This is how I survive, man. This is what you know. To me, it isn't shit. So, what do you expect? What kind of reaction do you are you anticipating me to go? <laughs> because Dang. you're probably the first person that they see acting like a normal person instead of the. But they other don't see many other blind individual. people. They're, all they have to go on is their own preconceived, stupid, fucked up notions. But see, you got to keep in mind, um, you are looking at yourself as you, right. not as people looking at you. But I can't put myself in other people. I have gotten, well, no, I've gotten times before where people are like, oh, you're a freaking genius. And they're, they're being honest. And they're thinking I'm like this really fucking smart guy. Yeah. And I'm looking at them going. <laughs> they are fucking with you. <laughs> oh, you little dick licker. No, Harry I know what you guys licker. are saying. Like, I get people that say things like that to me, too, that I'm yeah. just like, uh, come on, you know. Yeah, and you just pass it off because you don't think because it's you. You're doing what you do. Right, it's just normal for you. Right, for you, it's a normal thing to do. To someone else, it may be inspiring or it may be like, wow, how the fuck did they figure that out? Mm -hmm. Or it could be, you know, I thought she was a ditz, but she's really fucking bright. That kind of thing. I, I guess I just see it as really fake when they do that. No, shit. I don't think it's. I don't think it's fake. I really don't. Maybe yeah. there may be a. a no, in your case, I don't think it's fake at all. Yeah. Because you are a little different than most blind people. Yeah. I'm sorry. In a very good way. I yeah. mean, in a yeah. good way, yes. But, yeah. you know, at the same time, it's like, God damn it. You know? It's almost a surprisingly good but, way. But, you know, the bad thing is, though, it's... <laughs> almost like a trailblazing way. Well, it's, yeah. It's, see, that, almost that, like an inspiration So there way. you go. <laughs> but you guys, see, you guys do see the irritation in that, though, where... You know, now all of a sudden it's like, fuck, all you're known for is the blind guy that does well. It's like, fuck, can I be seen for other things that I do well? well? And what did I say just the other night here at the station? Uh, what am I? Wh what am I? I'm known as all Radio talk. Guy. I am. I'm all talk. Yeah. I'm not George. I'm all talk. Why can't you just well, be I a person? No and matter it's like, what. Fuck, can't people. Why the way that our society is, we're always going to try to put people in boxes. Yeah, yeah exactly. So we're labeled up, as what we are. And I think maybe that's why they get so, you know, well, inspired about it is because you you defy that concept. I mean. Nah, well, I mean, Jer Jerkman, you put the attitude of "don't put me in a box." Like, well, you know. and, and Jerkman doesn't really get put in a box; he gets put in the closet. That's why he's really? in there right now. And yeah, because because <laughs> usually I'm put in a closet to come find you and bring you back out again. <laughs> Tom Cruise won't come out of the closet. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Max. I told you, you can come out again. It's I, safe. I, I, I was, I was like, damn, we're hitting the break. No, <laughs> I, I was gonna try to hit the joke. You know what? Me. You were really close. You're a minute and a half off. Ah, fuck. Ooh. You're Ooh. getting, you're getting better at it though. I know. I'm starting to, starting to. Yeah. Can he can he get one in? Can he wind it up <laughs> to get I it in before it? I get it in before we go to break? <laughs> see whose know. timing's better here. You seem to get it in because you see Jeremy more often. <laughs> yeah, I do. And we always uh, watch the pornos of you and Gary that that was taken off the Red Lobster cam. Yeah, they, actually, uh, it was uploaded. Oh yeah, your date. Yeah, it was uploaded to Gay Men's R Us. And you would be going yeah. to that site. Why? Because we were actually emailed oh. it and was told. I actually. 
I don't know if I told you. I got an email of my wife sucking somebody's dick. I remember that. Oh one. my goodness! Isn't that nice? It's pretty horish. Yeah. Um, yes. Did you guys hear about the, the? I read this article about on this website called like Porn Tub or something. There was like uh, uh, there was a Porn new Hub trend. or Tub. Yeah, tub? something like that. Right. It was some porn site, and it was like this new trend where you know how they had the World Soccer Soccer Cup, football or whatever. Football. Mm. So yeah. one of the new trends was like. Germany fucking Brazil in the ass or something, but it was just like a clip of the game, like them winning the game. Okay, <laughs> and they were fucking. And it became, they were actually screwing no, or something. No, no, no. Like it wasn't porn footage. It was footage of the actual game. But the title of the video was like Brazil gets fucked in the ass by Germany or something. You know. Mm, okay. That's fucked up. And so it became like a big like trending topic, and like everyone started searching it and stuff, and like became. Try went viral. It, it, got huh? it, it, oh, got, yeah. it got its own category in the porn website. Even though it wasn't hmm. even like porn video, it was oh, like yeah. Maybe real jumping? video, but Maybe it was yeah. just the title. It was like Maybe a big that's joke. It. And the sad thing is, soon though they're closing <laughs> down Red Lobsters. We gotta we gotta fuck so each other I've in the ass <laughs> at some point, don't we? Look at us fighting for the end, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know we're both doing this. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you what though. I mean, yeah, either way, ahead. I think you're gonna just. Uh, nah. I'm yeah, you're, you're trying. You're trying. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. But you know, I, I just—I think that's how it would be if we were gay too. I would have <laughs> to try to get it up because I don't think I could. And, you know? and the fact is, is that even if it was to happen, you could and, get it up. Huh? And, and we <laughs> were, you know, there would be no red lobsters any longer to go to. Yeah, I know. So, shutting them all down. so that's it. If you're not taking me to dinner. <laughs> then I'm not fucking you. Really? Yeah. So I'll have to fuck you if you if you're taking me I don't to dinner. Know, but you don't. You do know that they're reopening. They actually what they did was as they sold out to like uh, you know people that own Hardee's I guess at one time which sold out to okay to um, somebody's rebuying them. Gotta yeah, buy they're going to rebuy them uh -huh. and they're reopening it and they have their fucking things up on the walls already because they're trying to keep the momentum going so they don't lose all the people from Red Lobster. Right. It's a picture of Max up there saying, "Well, come and we'll coat your corn cob." Oh, you ah. son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> right on the nose. Did you oh, the porn, you faggot? We'll be right back. What up, though? It's the Undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Eyeser. And you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that. And guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do. So don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted traffic like you already know. Get him, Jay! Answer me this. When did happen a lot of YouTube hits and hella MySpace friends begin to determine whether a rapper has good music or not? Let's be serious. You wouldn't trust half of these people to wash your car or your dog. But you gonna let these people determine what music you listen to? That's crazy. You gotta be a leader, man. Not a follower. Not a follower. And check out that classic album by your nigga, Boy Black Guys. 5.0 Reasons, 10th Anniversary, 1998 to 2008. It's that classic Bay Area G-Funk and my music. Sample the entire album at CDBaby.com, Rhapsody.com, Napster, and iTunes. Oh, just Google your boy Black Ice. That's Y-A-B-O-Y Black Ice. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Maxwell Silverhammer of the award-winning Shit That Irks Me. Now, usually, I'm joking and having fun and laughing, but in this case, I'm here to talk about something very serious. There's a phenomenon that's going on all over this country. It's called dimpling or dimple caking. That's right. There are lonely ass, poor, sorry sons of fucking bitches that have no friends, no life, and nothing really going on for themselves. So they need people to talk to. So what they'll do is they'll call your phone. And usually what you'll do, being the heartless son of a bitch that you are, you'll just let the phone ring and roll it into your voicemail. And then you sit there and you contemplate, oh no, I have to call this person back. I have to call this person back, knowing that there's quite the chore that's in front of you. What do you do? If you're the heartless son of a bitch that never calls them back, 
you need to stop now. You need to call that person back and do your dimple duty. That's right, it is your dimple duty to make sure that this person is happy and content and feels worth. That's right, this person needs to feel like they have some worth. So, do your dimple duty today. Thank you. I am Maxwell Silverhammer with a public service announcement. Do you hate women that you can't fuck? Have you tried to rub your dick on some woman's foot and she turned you down? What the fuck are you doing? Uh, well, if so, you need Game for the Mentally Lame. That's right. If you're a mental retard and women are trying to kill you with their Google Cheesy Leasy, then this is the book for you. That's right. Learn brand new pickup lines. Hey, baby. You see my face? Wanna hear it? No, I don't want to sit on your face, but I'd like to split your fucking lips. Or you can also learn brand new ways of being smooth and romantic with the come ons. Hey, how about we go have some hoochie and then after that we can go to the rum runner. Great, just what I've always wanted my own drunken alcoholic retard. No thanks. So see, the proof is in the tard. So get Game for the Mentally Lame for only $19.99 if you call now. Order Game for the Mentally Lame for all tards and those who can't quite get it. If you're a fan of hip-hop and R&B, join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. Uh, back-to-back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B soul. R&B soul. Friday night at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And Saturday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Only on the Tough Love Show on JJ.fm. He was a young white kid from the suburbs who had it all. Yo, Pops, when you gonna paint my motherfucking Bentley and shit? Sorry, son, I'll get to it. It's just been very hectic down at the office. But he wanted something more. Yo, I wish I could be a G, dog. He wanted to come from those mean streets and be a G like his compadres that he looked up to. Yo, man, if only I could have a gack, dude. I'd bust the most caps out of any G. Then he met Jay Fucka on MySpace, where he learned to rock up that crack coke Cane with the dopest of OGs from the street. Yo, we gonna hit the track right now. We gonna slang these hover rocks, these motherfucking fiends, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, can I roll with you, dog? Can I roll in your 6'4"? It's a tale of urban struggle. Yo, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive out in this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude, I can dig it, I can dig it. It was a tale of romance. Hey, dog, you mind if we sleep in the same bed? Gerald Jismbag and Harold Hardcock give it two thumbs up. It's Black Cock Down. At last, the wait's finally over. B6 returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. B6 no punches pulled approach on the mic gives listeners what they want as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass with such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance, you fake that you're fun. My touch reverse in the gut, my toleration is none. Fucking buster in a bitch, I'm Or the laid-back, fun-filled street I'm anthem entitled Change of Pace, featuring ghosts. This is something to bust. As a gift to the haters, so turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you be getting a ticket. And if you straight to the guts, bro, blind to the facts. Blind to the facts that your mind's in a trap. Blind to the facts that with time we adapt. Blind to the facts of what you don't understand. Blind to the facts by the media scans. Blind to the facts of what you read in a book. Blind to the facts. Of Download your copy blind. today of Mr. Zero blind Tolerance to from www.cdbaby.com or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b sick 2 Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. We are anonymous, and you're listening to Maxwell Silverhammer. Fuck that guy. And DJ Jerkman. Yeah, fuck that guy too. Only on STEM Radio. This shit really hurts me. Stand radio. Stand radio. 
And Jerkman's supposed to have this down. <laughs> Actually, I do. We're right on time. Yeah, we came right in. <laughs> That's right. So I do have it down. See, it's motherfucker. To a, to a degree, but you know, we should be sitting in place. Hey, wait a minute. It's your goddamn show, not mine. Yeah, but <laughs> you're the one that, um, you know, we're out back and you're talking well, about I actually went to a full cigarette at that time because we, you were saying disgusting shit. I was? It threw me off. We're having a little yeah, I said fun. disgusting shit? Yeah, you're talking about dating my mom. I never talked about dating your mom. That's disgusting. <laughs> you talked about dating me. Daddy Max. <laughs> the fuck I did. And Oh, yeah. She's going to get it yet tonight. I'm step daddy. Daddy Max. <laughs> I like the name of that, though, Daddy Max. And oh, you know something? So funny. Huh. Just think. Huh. It could be mother-in-law Carol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not funny, hey. asshole. <laughs> Ooh, shit. That one's not funny, asshole. <laughs> yeah, just think that, yeah, that would be some interesting shit, wouldn't it? a little it? bit funny. But then you're always, you're always supposed to not like your mother-in-law, right? Isn't that the, oh, the main yeah, thing? there would be. Isn't that how it's always supposed to work? Yeah, but. Very typical. Yeah, this is true. You know, it's, it's They always like, hate the one that their son's with or. Or the vice versa. Or vice versa. Uh, the dad hates the fucking, yeah. you know. Yeah. The other one, the girl mm-hmm. that you know, guys with. Actually, you know, you know what? The dads, there, there's usually girl guys are able to warm up to the girl better. You this know what I'm true, saying? Yeah. Like the dad's always like, "How are you doing? I like this." <laughs> yeah. Why is that? Because there's always a chance they can hit on. Yeah. Them. Yeah. <laughs> so right. yeah. Out. yeah. <laughs> you, you want some? You don't. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Of the young because parents you are the always very. <laughs> yeah. the, the mom's always very critical who the fuck you're dating. <laughs> right. Where the dad, he's like, <laughs> "Hey, I'm gonna be able to hit that later. You done with that yet? <laughs> yeah. Hey, honey. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? You know, Let me get that for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, mm, oh, my towel accidentally dropped when I got out of the shower. My bad. I'm sorry. Girl, you pick I'm, that up for me. Just bend over right <laughs> yeah. there. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be disrespecting you like that. Yeah, I retired a fireman. Can you tell by my hose? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They called me the hook and ladder back in those days. <laughs> you know why? Because I could like, make it go to a third story window. <laughs> oh wow! Third story window. Yeah, I can mm. extend to the third story window. Back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, even, um, you know, my, my mom's always been very critical of uh, people. Mothers are dating. like that. That's just, yeah, you know, just, why I the don't fuck know. is that? You know, you never, mothers are always the worst part of when it comes to that <laughs> shit. They're, they're the main reasons for breakups. And, they're the main reason that their fucking sons can't get fucking laid. Yeah. Well, even, okay, like even when I was with Shell, mm-hmm. her mom didn't like me. Well, think about this. Like, what the if, fuck? If, if you're going somewhere and, and you're going out on a date, does does the dad come up and say to you, "Hey, son," or to the girl, "You want to see naked pictures of a son in a tub?" Or is it the mother that brings out the fucking fucked yeah, up the pictures? Yeah, the fucked up shit. Like, oh, this <laughs> was little, <laughs> this was little jerkman when he was like three. Yeah, oh, he's like, look, at look at his little wee wee. Look at him. He's playing with his wee wee in the corner. <laughs> he didn't get potty trained until almost ten years yeah. old. Yeah, they start telling some fucked up secrets about you. You know what? The time he came home from school because he shit his pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was fucking. And you remember you had real bad diarrhea because you went to your friend's house the night before. And <laughs> Ain't those fucking, you know, whatever they were, chicker boobles. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Take hmm? huh? take your time. Who said that? Mom is plastered. My mom is drunk. <laughs> Who got your mom drunk? Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Who wrote that? Your, your sister? My sister. So she must be up there drinking. <laughs> she got, she got the- um, could it be possible that she did some... <laughs> monitoring <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> oh my me. god uh, Bunny's down there with George they're gonna hook up yet I'm just gonna get I'm loaded it. you know what I don't give a shit anymore he can do all of let him hook up with the bitch she'll see like, give me another one uh, <laughs> you know you know one of her biggest fears and I'm gonna be honest with you on the air right now you okay. know what her fear is with you uh, what? No. oh yeah you told me this what well, no, there was a couple, but um, she had said it to Max. What? What did she tell you? The fact that you guys, well, just the fact you guys might hook up or something weird. Oh. She's afraid me and you were going to hook up. And it was going to turn into a V situation. Yeah. And it was going to be, I thought you were talking about the, the rings. No, I told her about the, the Satan, satanic things Satan and that, but oh, that came from her uncle. I'm right. completely freaking... <laughs> I know. I mean, like, um, pretty much half of the things she said just completely shocked me. Right. Where it's like, where the hell did that come from? And then when I explained it to you, I think that kind of cleared it up a little, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> and then afterwards, I was kind of putting all the pieces together. You're I understand like, oh, they think that I'm going to... I understand how, you know, that happened, but I'm still just, like, so shocked. 
I think she thought that know. me and you would hook up, we would run the business, and she would be out of the picture. Like another Bentley situation. Yeah, and that because she did say V, right? Yeah. So yeah, she, yeah. she probably picked, because when we and V were together, we ran the place. And she probably thought, if we hooked up, you know, you would be here to help me because you're not stupid. You know, I'm going to lose my position as CEO. Yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> oh, I'm going to lose my son and the thing and everything that they're doing. And he'll be back and they'll be doing their own thing. And so I think that's yeah. I think that's what the biggest thing was, honestly. But I, now I'm thinking about this getting drunk and shit. I hate to say it, I'm but s- if she hasn't moved on from that by this point, <laughs> it's not going to happen. Yeah. Well, yeah. obviously she hadn't. Um, <laughs> and, the fact, and the fact that she's drinking tonight, what's the occasion? <laughs> Well, sometimes my sister and them will just get her drunk. They get her wind up. Just having fun? Just yeah. Like, just, just go up there and do, do So you're drink. hoping that's the case then, right? It, yeah. it seems to be because okay. she's going to take my time because mm. she's plastered right now. All right. But I thought maybe she got, like, so she heard the show and was like. considered a drug? Uh, no, it's not. No. Of course not. <laughs> you know, even though there is Alcoholics oh, so Anonymous. So Jesus drank it. would be it. okay if I had an alcohol problem? Sure. <laughs> I guess it would be. It, it, so there you go. Okay. <laughs> Carry your bottles in when you right. come in. That makes That's sense. what you need. You just get a flask. We'll turn you into an alcoholic. Yeah. Right? And there you go. That's and you're all fine. you need. That's socially You're welcomed into right? the family of all time. Yep. <laughs> hey, how you doing, Mom? <laughs> uh, Life is good, isn't it? I just want to know. You're here for work. For work. <laughs> all right. Oh, you going to be my daughter on work? You got fifth? <laughs> you know what? Well, this Did great. Did fade it in right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? All hell, Satan! Oh, <laughs> fucking ring. I gotta go drink hey. some more goat's blood. I'll be right back. <laughs> you need to go. You know, one day, mom, you gotta go to the church of Satan with me. We have so church much, of Satan. So much fun. We <laughs> sacrifice bats and owls and shit. Is it, is it a dry <laughs> bar? Or is it a key? Yeah, I bring you it this on. ring. You can wear too. Because you, match. Can, you know what? If you really feel comfortable. You can, they'll, like, they'll give you a drink. I mean, they're not going to just let you just, you know, kill a cat and do, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what's her biggest worry that we were going to hook up and I don't know. <laughs> that you guys would fall in love. And <laughs> yeah, I that's don't know. That's what I got to say about that. It's love. Because she compared her to V. So. <laughs> Since we're so alike. Hell right? yeah. You want to be in the music guy. I think, I think, I don't think it was the bad part of V she was comparing you to. I think it was like that if, if it would have happened that we could have probably done something like that. You're smart enough to help, you know, we could have pulled it off and made the place bigger and bigger and bigger. And I think that she thought that it would be, well, it would be me and her and then her off to the side then. So it has nothing to do with how V ran things necessarily. It was no, the fact v that was she was just the fact that out someone of the, else out is of the coming picture. in the picture. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. she wasn't worried about any of the other board ops. Ooh, maybe she has a son issue, Jerkman. No, because she never worried about any of the other board ops. Do you remember her saying about any of the other board ops? Any other female board ops? Yeah. No, not really. No. This, this has been a... Well, though, you may have voiced some of your thing, some of your, you know, that you, you know... Kinda. That you you would you were, I'll get about, you were kind of you know what I mean? is it uh, I don't even know if it's known I'm afraid I'm gonna say you know well I guess it is you know that you were kind of digging bunny rabbit well yeah you know right I, I don't I'm not sure if it was all known or out there or what yeah that's the sort of thing he just talks to his mom about. <laughs> I don't know maybe just something you said like geez she's so attractive <laughs> yeah I, oh yeah the one oh that's right because the one night I was sitting there talking to her I was like man she is so fucking hot I want to rip that dress right the fuck off. <laughs> Yeah. I want to give her a bone that comes out of her fucking throat so we both can kiss oh. it on a... You know, well, what the you fuck are you talking I'm about? Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe she heard you talking to me. <laughs> you know, she could have heard you talking to me, too. Or she it, could be listening to the show. show. That's very... Well, that's why... I, that <laughs> was, I think she listened to the show when we were set, talking about getting married and everything. Possibly. I thought it was real? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we were going to the Daisy Monkey Chain to do it. Yeah, that's that sounds very real. The Daisy Monkey Chain. Right. Because we're so serious about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was like. Uh, you could tell yeah, that was. We were rushing right out to the Electric <laughs> Daisy Carnival to like, do it. Wow, man. We're getting and I was wearing pasties, too. I just forgot them. Going to the chapel and I'm going Mellage. to run my radio Mellage station. Is what brings us together today. <laughs> yeah. Who would be your. Sounds like your pastor is Asian. No, He's that was a. Uh, Princess Bride. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, Mellage. shit. It's been so, <laughs> oh, it's been yeah. so long since I've seen that goddamn movie. And plus, wouldn't I have to be divorced first? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's that would, little, huh? yeah, there's a little, <laughs> little thing there. Well, you guys could just be shacking up and saying you're Maybe married. that's what she thought. We just shack up. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, she's going to move in with you, and you'd be like, oh, baby. So that's what we're going to do. One of these nights, me and you are going to go out on a date, and I'm going to let her know. You're talking to me about that? Yeah, me and Bunny. I'm going to say, oh. you know, I'm going to go in and say, hey, you know what? I thought you were talking about me going to Me and Bunny me are going to go out on a date tonight. 
Since you won't let her come into the <laughs> Yeah. Since you won't let her come in. Since you banned her from... Me and her are just going to go hang out all the time. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to go... Gonna go out and date after date. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a motel, and I'm just going to fuck her. So <laughs> and and Bunny Rabbit's suggestion tonight. was if she gets pregnant, we're going to name her after you if it's a girl. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> all right. I think, I think Plaster just went to fucking <laughs> smash. She, now she's, she's looking gonna, for weed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. She's going like, to name it after me. <laughs> Imagine your mom hitting the weed. Yeah. Jimmy, <laughs> you're getting stupid with that girl. I'm telling you right now. I think I like this. You're making a big <laughs> mistake if you think. Yeah. If okay. you're going to. Hmm. Got some Cheetos. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are feeling some pizza? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that oh, the, she would shit a fucking brick. Oh, oh yeah. my God! Yeah, we're getting married, and if we have a kid, what do you mean if you have a kid? Well, we're gonna I, name her. My, it was I, her idea to name the baby if it's a girl after you. I didn't strap it on last time, so yeah. well, you know. And we were just in the heat of the moment. It just happened, you know. And uh, yeah, and you know, I accidents go, happen. I haven't gone through nigga pause yet. <laughs> Accident. <yeah. laughs> so you know, I can still get chicks pregnant. <laughs> I should do men go through some kind of like where they, they say you do, but you can still get a girl pregnant all the way to your end. I was gonna say because I've never heard of guys not being able. The to guy get doesn't run out of sperm. That, that's what I thought. Dudes can always bust, huh? Is that is that uh, Yoda, Master yep. Yoda? Hey, what's up, man? Master Yoda for the last couple minutes of the show, you know. Yeah. You, you want to sit on camera, man? Or can he? <coughs> oh, yeah. mm. he said a chick looks better. Chick looks better? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's already plastered, Bunny Rabbit. You must have come on over here and fucking just yeah. put it out there. Well. Be like, fuck it. They just let her. Pu you know what? When she takes that. Fuck it. What's her favorite shit? Does she like wine? Yeah, she okay. does. So she takes that final so, shot of Zinfandel or whatever the fuck it is. You know, she can watch you on the camera. So what we decided was. Me and Bunny Rabbit are getting married, and we're going to have a kid, and we're going to name the first girl after my mom. <laughs> what if it's a boy? Why don't you name the boy? If it's a boy, we'll still name it after my mom. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's and guys uh, named Carol, Max huh? Is, Max is going to start dating his mom, and uh, me and George and Max and his mom are all going to go You're going to double date. Double date. <laughs> going to be shit. It's going to be great. It's going to be amusement is what it is. Wait a minute. That's kind of weird because it's like <laughs> she's young. <laughs> I'm older. <laughs> Yep, You're and I'm <laughs> young. Be like, she's oh, older. Daddy yeah. Max. <laughs> and I'm still the stepdaddy. Daddy After Max. all these years. <laughs> Wait a minute. But if she's the stepdaddy, then, and I'm Have your... Have you ever seen the movie The Stupids where he's like, I'm my own grandpa. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. That came from? <laughs> yeah. Is that what came from that movie? Hell yeah. But okay, I didn't realize it came Let's from... Let's forget the dynamics in this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My if you, father. Yeah, if, <laughs> you marry, if you married my mom and I married her, <laughs> all right, so then... Oh, she'd be my daughter. She would be your daughter-in-law, <laughs> stepdaughter-in-law. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that'd just be <laughs> fucking weird. That'd be funny. Okay, so wait. Uh, so I'd be her father-in-law. Uh, I'd be your stepdad. Once again, so, Daddy now, Max. Now, what's, when I'm, yeah, I'd still be a daddy after all that. But you know what? Would I still be one of these stepdads that moves in? It's like, I'll tell you something, son. <laughs> Things are gonna change a lot around here. <laughs> you know, you know those authoritarian assholes that women start dating. Yeah, I'm ten years and, older than you. And they, like yeah, they start trying to control like everything. In, like in Step Brothers, where he's like, "Cause think about it, if we have a girl in the house, we're not gonna be able to do all the cool things like shit with the door open, <laughs> deep sea That's fish right. diving." He was talking to his dad about that. We shit. have literally done n none of those things. <laughs> so yeah, that would that would oh, be man. one fucked up mess. Be that guy, you know, that one guy that comes like, you know. No, All right, Dripper, I'm, I'm going to tell you something right now. This <laughs> thing's going to have to stop. You and Bunny Rabbit are going to have to sleep in separate rooms now. Because your mom doesn't like the fact yeah. <laughs> that you're not divorced yet and there's another woman sleeping we in your know. bed. Mom's not happy. No one's happy. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and neither am I. Yeah. <laughs> if you know and what I'm like, saying. Hey, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and can you keep little Carol to shut her fucking mouth up and I give her a goddamn bottle? <laughs> What? You expect me to take care of? Well, then I'd be the kid's grandfather. Yeah, then you'd be the grandpa. You have to, like, delegate Holy everything. Shit. So, yeah, we had a kid together be named after your wife, which was my mom. Damn. <laughs> you just know how to fuck my whole life up, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I go from this single guy, you oh know, living God, the relaxed life. Can we start, like, life? a reality TV show? <laughs> oh, they would offer it to us, I believe. <laughs> hey, that's a great idea. If anybody wants to pay us, <laughs> would you do it if they paid you? Hell yeah, you would. Uh, you know, but, but the question is, would you? <laughs> Hell yeah, I would. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know what? Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's get a reality <laughs> show started right now. You know what? For some money, I mean, fuck it. 
<laughs> what, what's the worst thing you got to do? Bury well, a bunny rabbit? What's like the least, <laughs> oh, that's uh, least that's amount of money punishment. that oh. you would accept to... To do this act? Yeah. Least amount, you said? Yeah. Mm-hmm. A week or like... A no, year? like total. Like, like complete? Like, yeah, a, complete, like a contract. Total, like... Like a year contract you know or something? What? How about a hundred? Season. How about one hundred fifty thousand? How would we do the first season? In wow! Discussion? Like, what would it be the first season about? Like the yeah. marriage and like dating. Yeah, it would, be, it would be. The first season would be the like dynamic it is now of our with, complicated without, relationships. Yeah, without any of us being married, they what would see the part good? where she can't stand her. He's <laughs> fucked up. You know, I own this thing, but yet he wants to tell me he's my daddy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? We might. This might that, be. I tell you, I tell you, you know how many people watch that fucked up you know wreck? What? And I bet you <laughs> that will be the key to our success yeah, it would be. <laughs> you know fuck doing all talk <laughs> fuck all the other things you did oh we had ron jeremy in here who gives a fuck you have this reality show that's great but can you imagine i mean fucking low lifes after that show ended people would just spit on us when we walked by <laughs> you know what happens to those people that are in those fucked up shows you know that are like they come to all talk <laughs> <laughs> hey man i had a career in tv now it's shit. Oh so yeah, I'm at Old Dog Radio C- now. C- case in point, eyes, flavor of love. Doing yeah. guest radio shows. Yeah, at guest all radio time. shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I was on this uh, guy named Mike <laughs> Kerbin show. He said he liked me because he could do a character out of me. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, that's a Mike Kerbin <laughs> skit. At yes, least. it is. Holy but shit! But actually, he's actually doing one of himself this Monday. He's coming back on again. Oh, Monday what? to do one more. Doing a character of himself. Doing a character of himself on that because really? he did he did one he of did, me and Max. He made himself goofy. That, that he, was no, he's doing him. He's making fun of himself being a uh, like his <laughs> life. Yeah, his <laughs> him, him as as him. Yeah. Oh what shit! I was just gonna be a joke. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He did one of me His and Max. His own perception of oh, yeah. what he wants himself to be. And he called. He called. He did the one of me and Max. It was called the shittiest show ever. Yeah, and then, <laughs> then Max. Oh no, no, the shit that stinks. Right? Yeah, the shit that stinks or something. The shittiest. No, it's the shittiest show ever or something like that. Oh my god. And it was me, and I was claiming about how um, everybody come in here that had no talent. <laughs> and I was drinking and shooting heroin, and <laughs> well, then I come and I'm just talking about shit about oh, everybody. Top extreme. Yeah. <laughs> and then he comes in. You don't fuck around. And I was so high on heroin and, and drinking that I hit my head and knocked myself out. So he's on the mic just, and he goes, oh, "I'm Mick." What do you say? I'm I'm Brent. I'm Brent. Brent this, and he starts this going. Then he goes. Sniffing <laughs> lines of cocaine out of Peter's <laughs> asshole. And if all you bitches want to come and suck, suck my toes. <laughs> and then he farts yeah. again. Janky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's, that's Mike Kerbin. He does crazy fucked up skits about everything. <laughs> yeah, you got to listen to him. He's just off the wall. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, it it's was funny shit. It was good to hear that the other day. I had to, I got to brush up on my mic, man. I, I, he's, he's, that's what he's coming back and for this week. He's going to do last week's show, but he's doing it as all the characters, and that's it. Oh. He's not going to do no, uh, none of the stuff he gets from YouTube or anything. <laughs> oh, good. Actually, you talking about the conspiracy theory? Shit? Yeah, he's he's dropping it this week. He's actually going to do just Aww. all characters. I don't really. Li- I, I prefer his character shit. Those, yeah, those he likes the conspiracy stuff. He likes the conspiracy. He likes the characters. I like the fun because it's no, funny. But, but it's just it's, you gotta it's, have it's the like, best of both it's, worlds. It's, it's like a wave, you know. You do one show about one thing, and then you get that wave. You get the message out, and then you move on to, to the next another one. thing. Yeah, yep. no, it's yeah, the that's harmonization true. of both together. Well, I'm sure he could. He <laughs> that's could gonna go. be ah. Oh. That's the name of the fucking weird show we're gonna do. Harmonization. Harmonization. <laughs> when the two come together. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ar- ar- no, you the know reality what? show. No, yeah, I got a better name for it. We all talk harmony. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Get it? Because oh all talk. Oh my God! Would we survive it though? Of course we will. Well, would, we you, get, would we really survive well, something like that? No, yeah, I think I we're, say, we're good at shit talking. Yeah, and we're good actors. I think when it comes to following through, <laughs> you know what? Fuck. <laughs> Different story. Yeah, oh, that would. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, fuck. We we should probably hit somebody up for this shit. <laughs> If you guys will pay yeah. us, we'll do this fucked up hard reality <laughs> show. You would do. You would honestly do this, wouldn't you? I would totally do it. Hell yeah, that would you be would awesome. marry my mom. If money or food is involved. Yeah, he's yeah. down. I'm down. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and Just take him to Red Lobster afterwards. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. Baby Red Lobster. Max, will What's we up? live at your house? Uh, I'm filming. Question. I'll be the guy. You'll be filming. filming. Yeah. yeah, he'll be the stage oh, crew. Oh shit! All right, yeah. you can like, stage, okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do it in your house, I, or I, he'll I, be um, he'll be the house. one like secretly secretly like manipulating like joint, joint you, you know, know what? Joint I, trust. I, I gotta make sure I don't have bed bugs. He'll be secretly <laughs> manipulating like all the scenes. If I don't, then we can. It's all full. We can go ahead and have everybody, and we'll do the show. Master manipulating like each scene. Like, so how about you? Taking us on to say shit. You say this. Yeah, and then they'll interview us. Come in. 
And don't say anything. Yeah. And they'll interview me and hey, be like, Rabbit, you know Carol just said? <laughs> yeah. yeah they'll He's like whispering to this yeah. to us in between <laughs> camera shots. I, I think we, that would be a great reality and, show. And, and Let me wash this filth Playing chess with our lives. <laughs> and Max Jerkman said that he thought you were out fucking another chick. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll interview, you know how they do the little interview clips like, you know, Jerkman thinks yeah. that he's going to yeah. fucking do yeah. this. Oh, I'll tell you what, man. He's got another thing coming. Let me tell you, if she looks at me one more time. <laughs> yeah, like that. I'm going to slap that little baby. I named Carol just to get even with her. I'll slap oh the kid God. so hard the grandma will feel it. <laughs> hey, um, you guys think she's listening right now? <laughs> Let's hope not. I don't know. She's plastered. <laughs> right. she, may, she may be laughing if she's listening. <laughs> she's drunk. Is. Come on. You know, you know it's funny. <laughs> it's a funny ass premise for a show. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's we're, fucked we're, up. We're JK right wink no we're not <laughs> we want somebody to pick this up and let's have I a real show i think he's fucking serious he would do it <laughs> if, if hey if it was money involved yeah, yeah i'll do that shit you I mean at least 150 foul oh Come yeah on. yeah I'm a done. month Dude, what if we do like for real and like thinking about it like we do? <laughs> now he's thinking know. about it. Yeah. yeah like, no, 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 no. I mean, because he'll get to get in it. Okay, what if we do like like a like a voice <laughs> skit, like with the sound mm. effects and you do like, hey, how you doing, Carol? Like, I think I love you. You want to marry me? <laughs> and she'd be like, well, um, okay. Now you sound like Mike Kerbin. <laughs> <laughs> the Mike Kerbin show. You know, you got the teeny, the music, you know, the little bird in the back. Yeah, but how are you going to, how are you going to portray Bunny Rabbit here. Do her now. Yeah, how would you do Bunny She's Rabbit? talking to me because we were going to be married, I guess. Hey, George. Um, <laughs> <laughs> before anything, do you have a cigarette? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. give you that and Jerkman one. would do the same thing. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, I'm we Maxwell. Just, we take us out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. Bunny Rabbit. Master Joda. I'm GJ, going to get married and be in a reality TV show, Jerkman. And that's the story there, bitches. Let's all talk harmony. <laughs> <laughs>